What up, everybody? Welcome to another Risk of Resources Loadout Race of the Week. I am Race. I'm here with Disputed. Hello. Hello. And I'm here with R&D Thursday. You know him. Hello. Hi. Hey. So today's going to be pretty interesting. We got a, we got a lot of uh, cool stuff for you guys. Uh, first of all, we're doing a lunar event. And if you remember our last lunar event, uh, we just had the rule set of, oh, they can pick up lunars in the pods. But that was also the one event where there were no lunar pods that ever spawned. So we're like, OK, we get it. We're going to change that. So now we have a custom mode where you have two uh, eulogies that you cannot get rid of. And so they're going to be lunars everywhere. And we're going to see how the racers kind of uh, handle that situation. For the yeah. racers today, that... we have K, Zinc, Ruddy, and Zombies. So it's a pretty good lineup. What up, dude? I can't wait to see him open a legendary chest and get a Stone Flux Pauldron. Oh, man. It'll I mean, it's a legendary item, really. <laughs> I think this oh, is that how there. you broke it up. Huh? Is that how you broke it up? I saw that someone was saying that the uh, items would be rarer or something, I think. No. Oh. Less rare. We're going to see a lot of lunars, hopefully, today. I mean, the most we've ever seen in the, uh, in the races. Or that's the hope, anyway. Um, the loadouts today, Artie Flamethrower, uh, Big Blink Huntress, Normal Void Fiend, and actually, we got Resupply, Heal Beacon, Captain, with a default. Interesting. Utility. These loadouts we haven't seen pretty, in a while, actually. Pretty mid loadouts, I would say. Not too yeah. bad, but yeah, definitely could be better. Best Except special on Artificer, so just saying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no free pillar skip. Colossal damage. Notably. And, you know, there are some pillar skips you can <clears throat> use uh, with the Lunars. So we might see some stuff like that, like, you know, uh, with strides or transcendence host skip, something like that. I mean, if they get a uh, they get transcendence, that's a free skip every time. So that's true. true. I'm excited to see how much how many transcendence gets picked up this. I mean, I hopefully we see some cool stuff like I mean, it's technically possible to see heretic as well, actually. Oh, um, do you think someone yeah. will go for it? Think someone's going to risk that? I think someone will risk it. I, I think it'd be too uh, too cool to to not risk for. Just like if you have like three of them I mean, or something, yeah. and you're just like, come on, I gotta see if I can. Oh find yeah, it. I I feel like that that would be it, it's fun to see, but I'm pretty sure isn't it an eclipse with the uh, the heretic the health damage? That's just a lot to deal with. It's actually not so bad, honestly. If you get like a uh, a slug or something, you're fine. Um, and if you have transcendence, it cancels it out. Um, as long as you just keep spamming strides. Oh, fun fact about strides. It actually has wrong data on it or something. So it actually heals you for way less uh, than it says it does, <laughs> which is cool. Just because just of like Eclipse or no. that's just wrong? Just in general. <laughs> okay. Oh, just wrong. Yeah. Just fake news. Just normally wrong. <laughs> Nice. All right. We're about to start in less than a minute, everybody. Make sure you get your bingos in. Exclamation point bingo. Get your bingo card. Sooner the better. Kay did some extra work uh, this week for the Lunar stuff. So Shout out Kay. Yeah. And make sure if you're in the Discord, there is a bingo section. You compare bingo boards and whatever. See who, uh, see who you beat. All right. Um, Disputed, can you just <clears throat> make sure they all have the artifact on? And also ask Kay why he's okay. not streaming. Gotcha. All right. Ruddy Hi, is... Uh, Kay is streaming. Is he? Oh, yeah, Kay is yeah. streaming. I can see it. I cannot see it. Hold Refresh. On. I will. Cabbages in there with zinc. Oh, there we oh, go. No, y'all are now. Oh, no, I wasn't. All right. Here we go. They do have it on, and something's going in. So, 
All right, so Siphon Forest for the first one today as well. Not too bad, but if you uh, are not practiced with Artie, it kind of can be a little bit annoying if you uh, miss all your shots. <laughs> yeah, dealing with the flying enemies on this stage, a real pain, especially with this Artificer. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I go in there <laughs> to Zink, and I'm like, why is Cabbage in here? And then it's like, oh, is Cabbage in here? <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, you know, just his coach. Yeah, his little uh like in the corner rubbing his shoulders, making sure he's all good. Every race room has the cuck chair. <laughs> and cabbage was in it. <laughs> also we have a uh thing on the screen reminding chat that it is a lunar event. Um so hopefully people don't ask as much. But you know, they will. <laughs> it's gonna have oh gesture of the drowned already that's yeah our first one i mean obviously equipment okay, or they... what i was just gonna ask do they have the ability to scrap lunars here they can get pearls or... yes yes okay and it's not gonna take the eulogy correct it will not take the eulogy. nice yeah so i mean that might just be the hope for a lot of people. I mean, we have a Phalian coming up next, too. So we could see, for the first time, an actual Pearl. Because <laughs> we never have been able to get them. Oh, yeah, and we could see some... Maybe some egocentrism today? I'm just saying, throwing that out there. Ooh. It's all Manifesting on the destiny. Table. Yeah. It's really interesting to see what they would be willing to do. So. I think Cap said it's about a 10% uh, a chance for every single interactable to uh, give a Lunar. So it's 5% Interesting. for each. Zombie finds the first Heresy item. It's in a shrine near the spawn. And he's actually not going to take it. He's liking the Ice Wall a little bit more. Yeah. That's reasonable. I also agree with that. And there's a brutal is, crown on oh, hmm. You do have the ice spear, so like oh, that's true. He does have the execute mobility skill is nice. Yeah, I mean it could work out to be helpful for a pillar skip, depending on how their speed is. So it might be something he goes back for later if he thinks about it. But I don't know. And also we got to remember, a feeling is coming up next. They should all know the order of the stages. It's all available information to them. So I would just pick up everything in the stage and just go for the uh, the pearls, honestly. Wow, that's bold. Yeah. Oh, and we have a I zombie gonna... um, red. It's a ceremonial dagger right on the tree trunk, which is amazing. Nice. I mean, I don't know. I think you might be overvaluing pearls just a little bit. Like you have really, a one in five though? chance to get an, an irradiant. And you do get an irradiant. It's good, but it's like... I don't know. It's basically like having a couple watches. And there's a balloon. Oh, okay. I mean, you got to take that for mm. real. And it's the one right next to TP. So, I mean, you know, this is what uh, this is what we wanted, I guess. Pure chaos. <laughs> real crown in the chance train. Mm. Mm, not taking the bloom. Interesting. Yeah, that's a big mistake. He's going to pay it. for it later. I mean, maybe they just started the TP. They might go back for it. it's right next to the TP, too. So, so I think everyone should find this. I think um, K is going to take it, and I think Zinc might take it oh. for sure. Oh, K just got a go eggs. Uh oh, zombie is a little bit low oh. here, and that's our Ooh. first plus five, yeah. actually. You know what's the crazy thing is? If he had the strides, he would have lit. Mm. He didn't pick it up. That's true. Also, because of that brutal crown, oh, losing a lot of gold here. <laughs> Kay actually died right before he teleported to the next stage <laughs> because of uh, an infested squid oh, pond. No. It blasted him. Oh, but he got a head stompers from the Benthic. I mean, you have to pick up the Benthic. That, that's oh. just free. And Zinc picked it up yeah. as well. 
Wow, what a start. <laughs> There's so many good things you can get with Benthic. You can get drone parts, you can get headset, um, other items. Yeah. You, know. you can um, get an FMP build, <laughs> essentially. So. Oh, yeah. We saw, I think it was a cap run, like, a couple weeks ago, where he just fucking wrecked Mithrix. It was One the, of the fastest. fastest fights we've ever yeah, seen. It was insane. He went, he went from being, like, having a cope run with no damage to the most insane build we've ever seen in a matter of seconds. And Ruddy takes the bloom as well. So it's a bloom run officially. Now, the bloom is not seeded, correct? No, not on this version. We have uh, a working version at the moment in testing. So oh. probably next week we'll see it. Um, did get the headset though. Everyone Wait, the did get the isn't headset. Seated? Yeah, I was gonna say that everyone did get it, so that's crazy lucky, I guess. It's shocking, isn't it? <laughs> the the and problem was already. we had to figure out. It's because it's kind of like the printer problem where everyone right. might have different items because they might not get the same thing, and then the, each item has its own category that goes to another thing. Um, but if they don't have the same items, then it just it goes weird. Fortunately, they just picked up the same thing, so it just turned into the same thing this time. That's why they have it. But mm -hmm. so, Ruddy getting a scorpion here as his second red, and Zinc getting brain stocks. Brain stocks are so fun on the Sardi. Oh yeah, for you sure. You just spam that ice wall. Taking the void band here, very interesting. And there is a corpse bloom printer, which no one is going to take as well, right off the uh, the spawn. Oh, and zombie, uh, having a little bit of rough benthic luck here, getting a raincoat. Did get an ATG though, and a leeching yeah. seed. So, I mean, it looks Synergy. like everyone has the bloom. I guess we'll see uh, how that goes. <laughs> but yeah, the the brain coat, also not good. It looked like there was hooks of heresy in that void potential inside there, the void. There was, seat. so that means there's two. They, there, there might have been a bird here, but it doesn't look like there's anybody going for bird right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have all day to see if someone's going to go for it, so <laughs> we'll see. Oh yeah, yeah. And especially Maybe just like, feeling this one out. Yeah, and like <clears> if <throat> someone doesn't like a character, like for example, if they just like hate Captain, they just might be like, "Hey, I'll just, I'll just go for it, man." <laughs> you know? Oh yeah, it's like my weaker one or something. A lot more deaths than I would have thought already, but hey, that's uh, just how it goes, huh? <laughs> Kay is like under the map right now, just trying to avoid the Vagrant. He did get down with the TP. It looks like a lot of them are going for the uh, the seed first. And it looks like, you know what, I don't actually disagree too much with um, with the Void Band pickup on Zinc, because even though we're getting a, void or a regular band from TP here, you have Bloom, and the expectation that you're going to lose your band is just like so high. So yeah. having something instead of something that just, you know, it's going to go away. There's a stride printer and Zinc actually picks it up. I think he's going for the strides because it will give him height for the headset. Uh, might be able to actually use that, mm. which might be a good play. Yeah. That's true. And does stride scale with movement speed? It should, yes. Because if you have enough room with speed, you can skip pillars and stuff with it. It is quite a bit, okay. though. Obviously, the one hmm. annoying thing about strides is you can't cancel out of it. You just have to let it play out. So if you get multiple of them or something, it's just you're going to be in strides for like half an hour. <laughs> but it's not so bad with one. I'm really liking this scorpion flamethrower build on ruddy here yeah yeah he kind of lucked out with that one i like ruddy's build probably the best here so far got the the gopus too for the increased attack speed and the uh, scorpion stacks mm -hmm. no cleansing nice. pull this stage actually interesting oh the zinc yeah very depressing oh, the zinc using the heresy to get the iframes on the vagrant blast there that was cool yeah actually being able to use it i mean the damage is just like so low on him that he just couldn't like kill it fast enough anyway so <laughs> it's good 
Okay. And then a void band from that ice band. Yeah, I know. I shook his head at that one. K tried to pull the ruin, the essence of heresy, out of the uh, the gamer chest. What is it called? The adaptive chest. And just barely missed it. He just saw that lunar in there. I mean, he might the be essence. going for... You think for that would have been good? I don't know if it would have been good, but he was definitely trying to go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Ready I'm taking a know. behemoth with bloom on the next stage. Which again, yeah, that's nice. I like his build a lot. Let's see he did get tier. also, uh, you know, a death plant and a happy mask, but those are happy little additions. Dio yeah. on uh, Zinc here, not bad, and also a feather, Pretty which good. is kind of useless, and another head stomper, which is also not very good. Yeah. What do you think about not getting? The void crit glasses. The Vrit, some might say. I, in this scenario, if you have Bloom, the expectation to keep crit is so low, I'd probably pick them up. Even if it's not going to do much, yeah. it might do more than whatever. Because, like, in addition to losing a lot of your items, you're also not picking a lot up because you're going so fast. Um, so everything you pick up is going to get transformed at some points, usually. I think I yeah, would that's what it. I was thinking. That's true. It was either between picking up, maybe getting glasses and turning that into like a damage legendary that might be bad, might be good, or yeah. just having a pretty not not the greatest void item, but yeah, I mean you do have flamethrower, so it's not the worst, right? If you just kind of use it on like a big enemy stage five or something like that, if you can get close enough. It's okay. I think. <laughs> I think. Yeah, I mean, you know, either way, it's not going to do too much, though. I think when I think... you have Bloom, though, I think Voids are the way to go usually. Just yeah. getting as I mean, many as you can. We saw that with Zinc, right? Like, took the Singularity Band and Ruddy lost the Ice Band from the last stage where Zinc didn't. Yeah, like already. I mean, he did get a behemoth out of it, though. That's true. That is very true. Ooh, so you gotta kind of think of, zinc. like, the, uh, the categories of items, too, with Bloom. It's very important. And that's another plus five for Zombie, unfortunately. Oh, no. It's tough. Ooh, and there's the first tonic of the day on Ready Screen. Oh, it's... yeah. Here we go. With the oh, double shit. jester? Only one, I yeah. think, right now. I mean, oh, he, he has two. Need for a full hub time? Is it three? Uh, you need I... four. Like three in a fuel cell or something, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm. There's still very little downtime. Yes. So it's not that, it's not terrible as long as you don't get yourself in a really sticky situation. Yeah, and then you can just save it for phase four if you don't skip or anything like that um and just use it right away get the damage in get your stuff back ruddy did get a soul bound which means he could actually keep up his uh tonic if he just keeps killing stuff too hmm ready does have two gestures here yeah. already getting a um a tonic debuff though kind of unfortunate a little bit Looks like K got one too. But I mean, with the, the chance so high to get more gestures, I mean, hopefully he finds yeah. them. I mean, the thing about it is the stacks go away while you're in yeah, yeah. tonic, right? Correct. They'll only show up when you're in phase four, if you get into phase four. But, you know, then you can just use it again in phase four and you're good for the full duration. It's... Yeah. Such a busted equipment. It's crazy. <laughs> we love it. I'm really liking Ready's build here. I like it a lot. Usually with Bloom, we just see the builds just kind of, you know, get too far away from you. But, you know, since Lunars can't be converted, they just have a lot of, like, stability in their builds as well here, which is kind of nice. 
Mm-hmm. It's just all this damage that Scorpion Behemoth Kaggers headset. It's crazy. And another plus five, unfortunately, Zink for has a pretty good build here too. He does, uh, and he does have the Dios, which means there's room. You know, uh, Ruddy might be looking for an FMP at some points. Um, he does have the Kagri, he does have Soulbound, he does have gestures, and it would be enough to keep it up. I just is that even better than a tonic though? Because tonic Ooh. is so good, you'd have to get so much. Look at this. Hmm. Zinc got a bottled chaos. Oh. Oh man, the with old, the tonic too. The old Dan skip all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, how does it skip? He did just roll and base. And Ruddy's got out a decent already. cooldown. Stage five. That was a very quick stage. Unfortunately, he rolled. Um, Ruddy gets here. Two more death plants. He did roll another Kaggers and another Behemoth, but he just rolled duplicates of what he already had, unfortunately. thing about Artie is headset, I do not think is a host skip. I think Artie is the only one that can't do it because the jetpack fucks you up. I think maybe there's a way to do it. I think it's a timing thing. It might be. It's really weird, though. Because normally what you do is you just hold space when you go down, but if you do that with Artie... You just hover. <clears throat> you have to time it like right when you uh, go back up, which is really rough if you're not practiced with it. Definitely. Wait, you mm -hmm. hold space while you're jumping down for the headset. That's how you host do the host skip. skip. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's it's exactly the same thing, and then it just it's enough speed to get you all the way up anyway. Zombie having a kind of tough time here. He has uh, four deaths so far, which is being a little bit brutal. His build just isn't really panning out the way it is for the others, right? Yeah. His new and little happy bit... mask, brain coat, you know. A whole bunch of items you really never want to see in your inventory, but. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just the benthic difference here. Yeah, the rolls. Speaking I'm of curious, awesome completely items. different for the left side of the screen here than for the right. <laughs> we did get yeah. Aegis on uh, Zinc, so it's looking pretty good. I'm curious if anyone's gonna check for a scrapper before they go to the go to the moon, because there's a lot of useless reds here. Mm -hmm. It would there be nice. Are. You. Well, go ahead. No, that was it. <laughs> it would be nice. Um, <laughs> <that's a lot. laughs> <laughs> you know the benthic is going to take their scrap though if they do that i mean you can't turn red scrap though into anything above it that's true but then you're just not going to find a, a red soup the white soup i mean maybe but getting rid of like you know for example zinc's uh like scorpion or headset or something you know or sorry ruddy scorpion headset that'd be kind of rough but I don't, know, it, I don't think they're going to go for a scrapper. I think they might just think it might take too long. Yeah, Maybe. Oh, I think yeah. so. It has Especially to be really like close. Ruddy and Zink here. Oh yeah, they're, they can just go fight Mithrix and win. And here we go, Ruddy is on the moon, the first one of the day. So They're gaming. Oh wow, I want to see this host gimmick, please. They can go and check the uh, the lunar garden on the moon as well. See if they get anything out of the lunar pods there. Might see something, maybe um, the transcendence for a really easy skip or something like that. True. Oh, it, the soups on the moon could be lunars too. Oh, oh that is also that. true. I forgot. Yeah. We're really looking at Ruddy being super slow, though. Not even a single speed item at all. So he's just waiting on the speed from the uh, from the tonic. And when he's yeah doesn't have tonic up, he has the affliction. So he just goes slower, and it's brutal. As yeah. you say that, though, Zinc got a second affliction. Tough. K's at three. This is oh, it's not looking not good lucky. for everyone else. <laughs> I think Zinc is about to head out here. Yeah. Zinc yeah, is out. 
think it's going to be pretty close here between Zinc and Ruddy. Another oh, two Dio's. And Zinc actually rolled the vase, actually trying to go for it. He aimed at the perfect spot, just attempting to see if he could do it, and he did. So that's a big time save. Okay. Also he the is quail. the chosen one. He's got the raid and skip coming up. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I can feel it. The quail here is really helpful too. Oh, yeah. Being able to catch up to Ruddy. Ruddy's kind of getting blasted a bit here too because the afflictions are just so slow. We might see a death on the moon even before someone gets to Mythrix, but we'll see. Sings just got to keep an eye on his cooldown. He's just going to look up at the arena when it's low. Just see if he can get a vase from Bayos there. <laughs> K is not happy with the items that he has been presented, it appears. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Losing that ban for a Nukahana. That's huge. debilitating. He's got a good uh, Nukahana uh, Death Plant build, man. Roddy's struggling with the skip. Just trying to use the the heresy, which you know you can do on Artie when you have the jetpack. It's just kind of slow. Mm -hmm. But you will get there, and it is a pillar skip. So, see Zinc trying to go for the host skip here. This one is so difficult. It looks like he's didn't get not going to go for it. He's just going to go check soup and maybe just go up the tree with the uh, the strides. So K does not have strides, so we'll probably see K attempt the uh, the skip with headset. Hopefully he can get it. If not, I mean, perhaps to check out soup. Maybe have to do pillars. K, okay, if K can pull this off, though, we could see a comeback here. That is true. The problem is, the longer it goes on, the more of these afflictions stack up. He's got that five. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> That's... <laughs> that's not, not that great is. unlucky don't the afflictions also like oh they're affected by luck so if they yes. like yes. yeah potentially went for impurities here they could get a lot more and ready is the first one into the fight it looks like he's gonna check out the lunars uh see if he can pull anything out here if he can pull two gestures for instance or shape glass i mean that is massive that would be yeah I would kind of save the now, right one. Okay, Zinc is going for this host skip spot, but I didn't think this one worked on Artie. Just because of the angle. Doesn't it? Like you can see how, how far it pushed him. Yeah. I don't think it works on Artie. It, like, you know how multi has a different setup? Just because of, like, the the acceleration? Yeah. The thing I don't know because I was just using Iron Surge on Artie, so it doesn't matter for me. So yeah, I I think this one does not work on Artie. You know, like, in, look at how far it pushes him into the tree. In I guess Zinx, it does get him up there, and he can use the the shift. Zinc wanting to do the headset skip so bad, uh, he should have just started using his strides from here on out. He has the alien head he just picked up. Oh, but he's getting like momentum locked out of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh that's man. that sucks. He could have got it on that last one too. He like hit his head under the the base of the arena. He could have like tried to path over to the um the branches, then just go from there. He could just go up right now with alien head and strides and just float. Yeah, just kind of that, like that's probably oh, the best decision. Kay got the the host skip. Uh, he went too far up. <laughs> oh man! Oh no! With yeah. the the speed boost from Tonic, Jesus. He had it perfect. If he took the um the strides, he would have been fine there. Yeah. Meanwhile, Ruddy's already in phase two, and he's doing fine. So, to catch up to him, I mean. Yeah, he just went up there, no hesitation. He immediately knew he Ooh. was not going to do the skip. And here we go. Zinc is up. And there we go. Finally, Zombie finally. To this oh, watch oh. K? K? Oh, man. He's got it. He's got it. There we go. Okay. All right. Another affliction. <laughs> <laughs> 
Man, that's he is at seven, dude. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ruddy phase two. It's looking pretty good here. Nice. He's fine. He's about to enter phase three. He's he has enough damage just because his tonic is insane. So unfortunately, the only one who doesn't have tonic is zombie. Um, and that might be kind of tough for him going into the moon, honestly. Without it. Yeah. I saw a zombie printing a watch back there. There was a watch printer on stage five. Oh, interesting. He might have to but... go all in. I mean, I know he has a zombie, room, but like. He might have to take a risk, you know? Yeah. These politics just played out so differently for everyone. Yeah, a lot of interesting RNG this run. You could really see the difference in how everything went. Ready going for a tonic head stomp. I mean, we... Enough damage to get Mythrix to jump to the center. We so try to seed that. as many things as possible. Like, recyclers are seeded now. Like, Bottled Chaos, we seeded, but Benthic is one that We've not figured out a good solution to yet. We have it's in testing. We're just making sure it works. Oh, yeah. We're um. Like I say it should be. Hopefully, maybe next week we see Bloom like fully Omega seated, kind of like the recyclers. Um, one thing I noticing though that is not seated is tonic afflictions. I think. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Which is one we never had to worry about because we don't use lunars in the in the thing so yeah not one you usually mm -hmm. think about because well kind of broken but <laughs> for this specific event i guess yeah i mean you would think that they would get like the same amount i mean over a course of a long time yes yeah and ready is done with uh, phase four. So our first racer to finish. No plus fives either. So honestly, really good job. Yeah. A flawless victory. I What it really was is just Ruddy just went up. You know, he, he got like halfway up with the headset and then he just used strides and everyone else was just wasting so much time trying to skip. Um, but yeah. Hey. Very safe, but uh, good play from Ruddy there. Mm -hmm. Opening the lunar pods on his way out. Man, look how slow he is without the <laughs> the tonic. <up. laughs> no, holy hell! <laughs> yeah, this could be a, this could end up being a problem for K trying to escape the moon with what is that eight now? Eight tonic afflictions, <clears throat> dude. Man, yeah, <laughs> it's rough. What do we do if they like can't get to the ship in time? Is that just like a plus five? That is a plus five. Yeah. You know, originally, like in the first iteration. Oh, that's a plus five for Zinc, unfortunately, on the Mythrix Pizza. And another one right back to back. He got slapped. Well, hold um, on. Well, no, it's Dio. That was Dio. It's Dio. Sorry. There you go. Yeah. But it is a death. Um, dude, that was really, really unfortunate. The tonic went down. And he just did not have uh, strides up in time. It's hard to remember who has Dio's and who doesn't. <laughs> when we. But when we first Needed launched the, uh, both the races with the website, uh, the original like first couple weeks, if you failed at the ship, it was just like a forced DNF. Like you lost the whole oh. run. <laughs> uh, no one did it, you know, but <laughs> it was pretty funny. I don't know. Oh, I, has that ever happened? Mm, I think it's pretty hard like to. Everyone here is pretty skilled. Like they know exactly where yeah. to go. I know all the portals and everything. I mean, people have definitely died on the ship, but not timed out. Oh, Zink yeah, I remember. I, think I, I died life. on the ship. Yeah. <laughs> like 98% charge. That was a rough one. Zink made it through phase three on a phase four. All he has to do is just get back some stuff. Using a flamethrower, getting yeah. the orb phase, and that's pretty much Oh, done. that was good. I I don't know if that was timed or not, but got their gesture back before um before it got used again, so now they don't have to worry about being slow during this. Nice. Perfect. And she is also ready in here. Yes. I'll bring him in right now. Oh. Alert. Hello. 
How'd it go on ready? How was the uh, the lunar run? That was really chill. <laughs> yeah. I was Man. almost bored. Well, you're the only one who didn't die, so... <laughs> huh. yeah. Oh, plus five on K? That is a plus five on K. K is now up to three plus fives at the moment. Jeez. I think we might have to pull Zombie out when the others finish. Probably. Um, we hate doing that on a first loadout, but... They're just so behind at this point. Yeah, it's it might be just one of those cases. Sink did die twice. But yeah, but you uh, you got first. Nice. Everyone I took Benthic, have... and it played out very differently for everyone. Yeah, I can see. <laughs> everyone except Zombie got headset, and that was kind of like the beginning of the end for him already in stage two. So. Yeah. Oh, Zombie did. I think just. Found a natural drone parts here though. Just on stage five. That's funny. Yeah, looks like it. So, in your run, any problems? I mean, you just went to TP to TP, basically. You also Not just really. went straight up with strides. When did you get strides? It was like stage one on the. There was the a shrine. stage two printer. Oh, okay. Never mind. Then. There was one stage one also right under where you okay. spawned in. Um. But no one yeah, I thought, took that one specifically, I don't think. I thought strides would give a little more movement speed, but it's no. wrong. <laughs> they, they <don't. laughs> yeah, it doesn't. All yeah, right, I think I had more damage on stage three than moon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Welcome in, Zinc. Classic artificer run. Yeah, normal, normal run. How did it feel? How was the lunar? I, I picked up too many items, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I don't know. First time having that build, I guess. I mean, <laughs> you know. <laughs> How do you feel like the Lunars impacted it? I mean, you had eight uh, afflictions by the end of it with Tonic. You had strides, so um, that was fun and new. Yep, yeah, Lunars were good. Um, Spinal Tonic was 100% my damage. Yeah. So was... always... Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, like the worst side of it, I did Batora was actually the feather, not any of the lunars or the voids. Hmm. Oh, is that why you took the alien head at the end? Well, I took the at the, the cauldrons. I couldn't post skip because the stupid feather and Artie, or maybe I just suck. I don't know. And hmm. then I tried to do it, and I'm like, I gotta get rid of this feather, so I printed away all my green items and hoped it took my feather. Interesting. Yeah, that uh. That skip was kind of rough. <laughs> it was literally so much time just wasted on the mood. It I don't look like you almost had it in like the the safer spaces spot, but then like you did it one more time and you you just got launched out of the stratosphere. It's, yeah, it's kind of bonk. Yeah, that was tough. Mm -hmm. I was I was like he was printing more alien heads so he can just like strides his way up or something, but <laughs> oh no. I mean, that's essentially what Ruddy strides. did. Mm, really? Yeah. <laughs> did you pick up some Ruddy? Uh, yeah, everyone did. Mm, nice. Oh, Kay is about yeah. to die charging the ship. Uh oh. These afflictions are getting him, man. <laughs> yeah. I'll be a minute. Okay. I'll get you. Oh, just... finally broke 10. Oh man, dude, he is collecting those, man. <laughs> I just feel you want to tell Zombie that uh, it's time. <laughs> it's okay. unfortunately, yeah. I don't think he has a way to skip pillars either, so he's gonna also have to do pillars, which is particularly brutal. Yeah, not getting that head stompers was quite unlucky. Yep. Let's bring in the rest of our racers. All right, everybody. Uh, how was round one, specifically K and Zombie, since you guys are the last ones in here? Def definitely a warm up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Zombie well, got uh, fucked over You're so badly by that Benthic. Yeah. <laughs> Just the um, little. You mean Zombie? Worse than my <laughs> Benthic? Yes. Oh yeah. Hmm? Yep. But I already had bad items. You had headset. Yeah, I had one headset and like ten healing items. 
Yeah, he did not have that. Mm. <laughs> no, I didn't find that. <laughs> it, it, he only had like Nukahana's and shit like brain coat. He, that was yeah, like... Nukahana's double IDP. Dude, it was crazy. Yeah, mm-hmm. I had all of those too. Yeah, man. I mean, and I got killed by my own. Bad yeah, yeah, I had. One. I probably had everything you had, K, just worse. <laughs> It was pretty rough. And also, you didn't find the tonic on stage three, which is kind of a huge, mm. huge one. Everyone else had that, which is everyone's damage. Yep. Um, so. Yeah, it makes sense. Hey, okay. that squid pull up death. That broke my heart. <laughs> it was like was right mental? as you teleported too. like, I thought it yeah, wouldn't it was... count. And then it, it did. Oh, damn. Just get me out, actually. I was I was mentally done with that run for a while, <laughs> and it just kept getting worse because I didn't get anything. But mm. I, apparently, zombie was worse off, so I guess I'm fine. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you still got some points. How are we? Uh, how are we feeling about the uh, the lunars so far? Pretty good. They were fun. I got to They're experiment good. with builds. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Makes you think ben, a bit more. Kind of... Benthic is kind of a weird one to to throw in. At start the same out time. on though. Yeah, mm. uh, Benthic plus lunars, like double the lunar session. Mm. Yeah. All right, ready? You back yet? I am back. All right. Well, if you guys are ready, Huntress loadout two, you guys can start it up. Huntress, it is. And we'll see how this okay. one goes. Um, sounds good. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. All right, load up two. So Huntress is kind of an interesting one for this one as well, because there are a lot of lunar items that I feel like I wouldn't pick up with Huntress um, more than maybe already. I mean, it depends, right? Like if you have a burst build or something like that, but like things like light flux and um, I don't think I'd take visions, but I might, you know, who knows? I don't think I would take hmm. some things. I wouldn't take purity even though I would on Artie, stuff like that. There's a Lunar Pod right off the bat, and it is purity. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, interesting. Well, I mean... I, the only thing it's good for you here take is... One purity, oh, you can take oh, many. never mind. He just takes it. All right, Ruddy takes it immediately. Ruddy says, you know what? Okay. Fuck it. We're here to use Lunars. We're taking them. He has a Crowdfunner's <laughs> inventory. Um, it's kind of a, a conflicting setup there, but we'll see. Actually, you know what? I mean, purity... It's fine, man. Purity is one where it's like, you take one, you can basically take as many as you want. There's yeah. no reason to hold off at this point. I mean, there is slightly, but, like, the negative clover just has such a detrimental effect that yeah. you're better off just... Okay, I took it, too. Stack them up. I think what they're looking for here is just um, kind of another uh, tonic build is the, the hope and dream, right? If they can just Ooh, get bypass build with a purity, I mean, yeah, just fly around with the the shifts, mm. the lower cooldown stuff like that. But I, you're I right, mean, R&D. you'd get the afflictions. Purity but... with tonic, you'd get a lot. We should have like a Mario Party like metal system at the end where you get like bonus stars <laughs> for most tonic afflictions. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the goal with a, a tonic build is to get as many Ooh, uh, gestures as possible and that's a plus five for k already he hit the mountain shrine which was a little maybe bold for having <laughs> pretty much nothing else but he needs to take a, a <laughs> he's taking a moment yeah, yeah. <laughs> thinking about the decisions we made he's like why'd i do that one <laughs> i mean i don't know would you what abilities would you uh replace with uh, heresy items on this one um pm2 probably hoax is really good i'm not gonna lie i would yeah. i could re- replace like all of these and be fine <laughs> yeah yeah unless you got like uh, a band or something for the ballista then i wouldn't well, actually even then maybe it really depends I this mean, was definitely a bird run too. maybe yeah i I don't feel like I would have a super large attachment to anything here. So. Ruin is crazy. I want to see some Ruin gameplay today. 
Yeah, especially with the crowdfunder that they have. I mean, dude. Oh, yeah. That could be crazy. That's perfect. And the bazaar is still off limits for the Lunars, right? Correct. They can't just go in and get five Lunars every stage. It's only oh. just uh, eulogy rules. And there we go. Kay actually gets a hook okay. somewhere on this map. I don't. I didn't see where it was, but... I'm going to be honest. Uh... I just saw it spawn in front... Well, oh, I think it was from the ma Shrine of the Mountain. I think it uh, spawned oh. from the boss. From the extra one. That's sick. So yeah. he's going to be like the only one to actually get that. Wow. Cool. Maybe worth the plus five? No. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it might be, but, you know, it could if, be if, if we'll everyone see. else just like absolutely uh, tanks. We'll see. Plus, five, it's a long I time, though, man. Gameplay. Please. I mean, if there's a chance for Heretic, it's it is today and no other day. <laughs> so. It looks like zombies going into the opal printer a little bit here, which I kind of like. Get some. Ooh, what is it? Her. Oh, nice. Are eulogies also like still in the item pool? Like, can you find more? I believe not. I believe you're locked to getting just these, and that's it. It might be for the best. Okay. I could get crazy pretty quick. Uh huh. Okay, going into this watch printer, getting two. So is zinc. And zinc is getting a little bit more. I think what we've seen recently is that if you want to win a loadout, you want to probably high roll on the watches um and because if you don't don't go into it you're gonna be like the only one who doesn't and then you're just gonna probably have the slowest run on average it's hard because like you know they obviously can break their watches they can lose everything that their build was there for but the chance that all three of the other players are gonna break their watches and you don't or something or you just never picked them up mm. that's hard to to gamble on so yeah. I mean, this with shaped glass too is going to be crazy. Yeah, I mean, we talked about how shaped good... glass will also yeah lower the threshold of having to break them. But I mean, even with damage, we talk about shaped glass. We talk about how good watches are as well all the time. But them combined, that shit's crazy. <laughs> actually, it is. So, and that's where the the crazy. Uh, exponential scaling like really just throws itself into the arena i mean we're gonna see like if a glass drops we're gonna see everything just being one shot i mean you get a yeah. band out of a shrine uh for zombie there which is really nice a free one i don't know if these guys are gonna do um bands here i really doubt they're gonna push pots unless there's like a free god spot i think with lunars they might just want to gamble on uh just getting the power um mm -hmm. And they have the watch printer too, so I don't know. We'll see. It is a more like stable approach though, but it does cost a lot of time. So far, I think I like uh wait, where did where did Ruddy get that uke? That AoE is something that uh is really good at this point. Is the previous stage because it's before the neural? Oh, true. Yeah, everyone just missed it. Then they have no chance to get on the stage. So unfortunate. Any amount yeah, of AOE I mean, is good in these situations. He does. I'm surprised he didn't go more into the uh, the watch printer actually, but there is that too. floating statistic that we all kind of know that about eighty percent of watches are broken in the races. <laughs> so yeah. Especially yeah. when you're a low HP character like Huntress. That's mm -hmm. a, if you got shaped glass, that would be very risky with your watches. You get hit by a wisp one time and they're all gone. Kay actually rolled the pot into the uh, kind of the central button that's like kind of tilted on the rock. And he got it pretty quick. So it's kind of free bands for him. It looks yeah. like he's trying to go more stable approach here because of the plus five. See if he can just get some uh, slow cooking build. If you can get a ruin here with the bands and the crowdfunder, yeah. that's gonna be some damage right there. The watches too. Oh, I mean, hooks is already so good here as well. It's really, really powerful. So, 
and being able to throw it out mm-hmm. so often. I mean, honestly, that's why watches are kind of the play here for the people who picked up purity, right? Because they're not really here for procs. They're here for just base damage and just throwing out as much as they can, as often as they can. Okay, so like, printing more watches here too. So it's like everyone's going for the uh, POS except Zinc, which is not a surprise. Zinc is a an anti-pot roller. He will tell you that himself. <laughs> Right there with you, buddy. Looks <laughs> like so Ruddy got it. Zombie's still struggling a little bit. I am a little bit surprised though There's that more. more of them aren't leaving with just the watches. Yeah. I thought for sure Ruddy would just leave. Yeah. The uh the void seed on Sage 3 looks like it has only two things in it. It has a potential and a void cradle, which isn't amazing. Zinc's looking at his uh, neural and his watches, and he's like, I can't yep. really <laughs> safely get these right now. So while, like, you know, I killed the void seed first, I took a little bit of time to do that. It's, like, not really something I can take advantage of. Looks like Ruddy's going into more watches as well before he goes, which I do think is a good call with the purity. And so is K. Ooh. So they both have five. Yeah, but K miraculously kept his drink there and they p- picked up the hoof. So that is really good. Coming out with a bunch of watches and two speed. His items are looking really good. Sadly, the plus five might be a little too much to overcome, but. I mean, we'll, we'll see. If, if he can keep his watches, and for example, if the other guys break theirs, then suddenly that's pretty huge. And we have the first oh, shaped Zeke, glass. Yeah. Wow, all we, right. This is Wait. actually the first glass that we've ever had in the races ever. Okay, I have a question. <laughs> yeah. Could egocentrism take away the wings? That is a good question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it, if it does, we can just force them uh, back in. So it's not too big of a deal. We'll just have to remember... I don't think it That's can. That's a next level strategy. Because it's not like a real item. It's like a it's like a used uh, elixir item. So it. Can't. Oh. Oh yeah. It's like the custom. Okay. And theoretically, if Mark coded it right, the eulogy also cannot be taken because it is of a similar category of item. The Bayos, okay. Oh yeah, Bayos on stage three. Key. Oh nice. So everyone, Ooh. if they do get a key, they will be able to get the Bayos. We see that Zombie still has it, but the the racers on the top of the screen have already printed away their key for watches. So yeah, K is really like it. I like K's build a lot. I mean, I know that plus five is tough, but shape glass with the watches with purity with hooks. He's kind of got a good thing going on here. Yeah, it's all got to make sure you don't take any damage. But ooh, that was close. Zombie got a Lysate cell. There is an extra key on this Ooh. map as well, so Bayas should be open to everybody. And there's also... What is the printer? Is that another watch printer? printer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, All right. Oh, well, Zombie is going to print away their other key, though. No, they're oh, keeping they their last one. They did it. Good. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I mean, they have not gotten the off, glass, but... though. Hopefully everyone does get the glass. I think it was in, like... a a multi shop or something up top and they're like one of the middle platforms. So oh, I don't know if it was like a Look question mark damage. one or not. The damage this is crazy. Damage is nuts. Yeah. Like I was talking about earlier, like look at the notch on K's health bar for breaking the watches. It is very low. all like the scaling values like that you basically have to die to break them even without the glass ruddy is absolutely melting the uh, stage three boss i mean the watches here are basically a glass right (laughs) so oh yeah it looks like zinc is ready to go i don't blame him oh right the glass time to leave what do you get rid of? rid of the crunder? Oh, they're all going Kubu. Mm. I wonder why. Oh, maybe for Bayos. No, they doesn't have Bayos. Never mind. Um, uh, who has Bayos? It's only Zinc. 
Interesting. And Zinc's the only one who can't use it. Huh. Well, we'll see. Kubo's well, honestly, not really one that you want to try to get vase from. Like we've seen with um, certain racers in the past, long cooldown equipments and vase are not always a great combo. <laughs> no, they, they got rid of Krender because they both have purity and the other guys don't. And that's the difference there. Hmm. And it's like, we're not going to get a build that actually uses this because it's just going to be base damage. Unfortunately, though, if Ready and Zombie leave the stage without the glass, that's that's a pretty big damage loss. I don't know if they're going to see it. Does, in time. does Ruin, like the Ruin stacks, are those affected by luck? Ruin stacks? I don't. Think yeah. So? I, I think it's just like if it has a proc coefficient, it stacks it, right? Yeah, I think it's just damage. Yeah. Something okay. that has no proc coefficient cannot give one. It's kind of like, um, uh, what other thing works that way? There's something else. But you get it. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Smile. Yeah, we get it. And already oh, think is done with uh, stage four TP or the boss at least. Yeah, it's kind of like a uh, plump. Perfect. That's the one I was thinking of. And Scorpion does is affected by a proc coefficient a little bit more. Actually, it's not a hundred percent. If you have like a 0.5 proc coefficient, uh, you only proc Scorpion half the time. Something a lot of people don't realize on that one. Well, that today I learned. <laughs> yeah. I'm really just like holding my breath here because one bad orb from this uh, Dune Strider or something like that, a larva, all these watches are gone. That's oh, really yeah. all it takes. I mean, Huntress already has such low base health anyway, so they have to be really, really careful on this map in particular. I think so, Evan here is just rushing to Mithrix. Everyone has I so agree. much. And even the, the guys without no. the glass are still doing a lot. You know, it's not like they aren't. What are we thinking for pillar skips? That's still on the mind of the races here, right? Purity with um this blink isn't enough. They need something else. Ooh. Maybe with Lysate it would work though, actually. Hand on zinc. Actually, Lysate is a pillar skip. On this blink, I Band think. on Zinc. Zinc taking the Gubo right before he leaves. Oh, nice. Zinc does have the Honestly, opportunity to get a vase then with Baos. If this was me, I would just try to do pillars. You have enough to where you can maybe get two soul pillars done, which is not a huge time loss. Um, you can easily spend like more time looking for pillar skips than just doing pillars. I agree. And the worst part of soul pillars is low damage on wave clear and they have damage um oh we see k gets a behemoth as well it was like what right behind tp oh, or something like that what a that's beautiful pickup dude his damage yeah his build is really really good but again he has that plus five is he gonna have enough damage eventually to kind of get points on the board or is everyone just gonna go so fast it doesn't matter and runny gets the behemoth as well it was on that branch, kind of in the middle of the map, upper level. I mean, that, like, that's basically a replacement for the shape glass. Yeah, but K has shape glass, behemoth, and watches. <laughs> that's true, but a plus five as well. Yeah. Plus, I think is going right for this void seed right off the bat here on stage five. It is a pretty heavily stocked one. Looks like there was an extra. Uh... Oh, no, it was fine. It was just like two cradles and a potential there. There's another purity on zinc. Is he going to take it? Of course he is. Oh, mm -hmm. again, if you have one, I mean, you might as well. Oh, and, that's and really there good. we go. Plasma shrimp to kind of round this out, dude. That oh, extra that is damage beautiful. is crazy. Oh, Ruddy broke. Oh, no. Ooh. Man. Did we see what happened? It was probably the, the construct. 
it was. Yeah, he got backstabbed. Oh, Zink was one of the ones without purity, and that was the first one he took. Well, I think that's fine anyway. He doesn't have anything that uh, he only has like the one crit. So. How many purities do you need to? Oh, and the sh skip with that shift. I don't know. Um, uh, maybe another one would be easier, but he has lysate, so I think he could air stall enough. Maybe. Oh, there is a shape class here. Yeah, it's kind of so in the center of the map on Ruddy the edge. Can uh, basically get all that damage back. That's true. He doesn't have the glass yet. And not everyone has the behemoth either, so. He's got to make sure not to die yeah. here. It's kind of looking a little bit rough for him, though, because he doesn't have any damage anymore. It looks like he's going right for TP, Ooh, though, which yeah. this might be a really rough TP for Ruddy. Yeah, this it could be. Yeah. I wanted to see him get that healing drone first. He does have a neural, but it's not helping too much, but it's it should be enough. We'll see, we'll see. Zinc with the double shaped glass though, the four washes that and the plasma shrimp, that's kinda insane. Look at K though. What six watches, shaped glass, behemoth, and plasma shrimp? Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah, I know. All because it's uh K at that mountain early though, it's it's rough, that plus five. I hope um Zinc can make up for it. What about Zinc? Zinc has that Bayos though. And that, that true. could give him the edge he needs. And zombie actually nice I framed the uh the needle tick. Oh man, beautiful. I don't know Nicely what hit done. him. But I think it was maybe one of the alpha constructs that would have killed him uh, if it went off. So. Really good shot. It's hard to do that. It is. It's one of the timings that still messes me up. Hmm. And then zombie getting the purity here. Does everyone have a purity now? Yes. Yeah. The, the, the two that didn't take it at the beginning took it at the end. And Interesting. Here we go. Sink is uh, on his way. Sink has FMP now, interestingly enough. Are you jealous? A little bit. <laughs> I don't know what in his build could really work with it, though. Um, it's just a lower cooldown than the Gubo. So that's probably why he took it for yeah. base. Just yeah. something. K is also yeah. on the moon. Ruddy's having kind of a tough time here. He is 60% to the teleporter, though, so it's not going as bad as I thought it would. He's still making his way through and being able to wave clear. It's just tough. Yeah, hopefully he goes through the rest of the map and gets some items because there were some good items here. And if he goes while losing all of his damage, he's going to be way behind. Yeah, that shape glass specifically. And maybe even the uh, the other purity. And I think that we can't forget the plum. Yeah, yeah. She can't offset this plus five here. And not get first place. I think Zinc is probably going to get first, but... Maybe uh, third here. I mean, he or has the opportunity to get points for sure. This Zinc is, this is doing the skip with the, yeah. the Lysate Purity Blink. And he, nice. I mean, he's able to do it, so. Looks like K is just going to go for the, uh, the brute force route of just two pillars. Get him out of here. He's actually being able to take another shape glass as well. Holy so. shit. His damage, I mean, man. He has the build where he can just brute force these soul pillars. Absolutely. Not really a lot he has to worry about. Sync is almost up, though. And what was the next lunar that he got? Other. Like something he doesn't want. And another purity is going to go oh, for it. Oh, focus conversions. Mm. Okay. Ooh. He's actually going to go for it because he has the build enough to do damage on the soul pillars here just to get them done. Oh, is he? Or he's just going up right now. Never he's going to skip, I guess. Okay. I mean, oh, either way. Ruddy ended up picking up the shaped glass. Good Got job some damage back. back. Good. That's basically the damage he lost from that Z con. Yeah. But look at Zinc. Zinc is almost done with phase one already. <laughs> so Holy it's going to be shit. really hard to catch up to uh, to this. 
Yeah, Zing's gonna have to make like a big mistake, or else it looks I like mean, they're probably just gonna win. It is easy to make that mistake, though. I mean, look at how much health. Re- yeah, Zink it is. Has. Yeah. Um, Z- Zink is notorious for for getting hit by pizza at the very last moment available. I mean, it happened last run too already. So he did have the dios though. So it wasn't like run ending. two dios. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just blasting through phase two. That was crazy. And already on to phase three. One ballista shot per enemy. Does Zinc have the Kajaro? Oh, I don't think. Never mind. I was going to say maybe they could skip, but I guess not. They might have to get some oh creative God. skip here. <laughs> oh, dude, Zinc is scaring the hell out of me. It's honestly <laughs> this purity, though, that's allowing them to move as much as uh, they are. Oh, stop. Just standing on Mithrix's head? Okay. But he is in phase four, so this should be pretty easy. Just hit him with ballista and uh, see if you can get him low enough. I mean, oh, he does take the shape glasses, so this is like yeah, insta yeah. kill. Having the lysate for the extra orb phase already, oh. that's pretty much done. But K is in the fight, meanwhile. starting off phase three. Yeah. I mean, it's it's so quick. Man. Finishing off phase three, you mean? <laughs> yeah, already that quick. It looks like K. The pillar skip mm, was lower than the fight itself. Might be just be going for the phase four skip. He tried, but just to wait it out a bit. But it's just like it's too much damage. You can't even. Mm. Interesting to see Ruddy still on stage five here. and scrapping. It looks like he's going for uh, Soldier. Yeah. If he can, like, skip in a good amount of time, he could still maybe beat K, but it's going to be, be close. At this point. Yeah, losing your watches is uh, no joke. Zombie's going for the same skip. Yeah, it seems like everyone just did this. It's good uh, that they have the awareness to realize that they can with this build. It really did save them a lot of time there. There's also, like, the lunar pods where you... There's another purity, I think, and a shape glass. Yeah. He did get the... Uh... Well, I don't think there's another purity on the moon, but there was definitely the one on stage 5. Yes, both. Which is good. I mean, they're actually... I don't know. I don't remember, actually. I'm doubting it now. Maybe there was. <laughs> How many does K have? Two. Okay. I think is... Done. Let's bring Zink in. Hey, right, Zink played really well. Good job. Zink. Shaped glass go boom. Yeah, shaped glass go boom. You did not break your watches. You took the the glass, took the purity, got the damage. I mean, you know. Purity Easy. skip was fun. Yeah. How was the run? Anything notable? Oh, there's a ruin on the moon as well, but not going to take that at this point. Yeah, no. I don't need this. So needed. No, run was good. There was just a lot of straight damage. I should have taken the purity on stage one. That was yeah. right there. Oh yeah, and <laughs> you didn't even have like the most insane damage either. No. <laughs> Hello, K. What did I miss? Well, in the mountain shrine stage one, there was a uh, hooks that dropped as well, and I, I, okay. I think. You missed another glass on somewhere. I don't remember where. It might have been on the moon or glass. on stage five. Me? Me? Ruddy's getting blasted. I mean, no one got all of the glass, so. That's okay. <laughs> Ruddy is no, getting blasted. I'm kind of worried here for him. If he plays this well, he can steal a, a point from K, but. He might not have enough time. We'll see. Zombie. Uh. Zombie is looking pretty good as well. They have still have all their watches. Ready was the only one hey, who broke your them. Time? 31. Okay. 31 flat. Yeah. It's... That's. Yeah. They probably can take the point if here. If it doesn't matter, cool, but why do I have to be so bad on die stage one? Like, that's crazy. 
<laughs> you're, one. you're really pushing it on the uh yeah i just hit tp and died i mean it wasn't even worst case either it could have been a uh a beetle queen that would have been pretty bad no nah, beetle queen would have been a lot easier i think Ooh, i can barely hear you buddy burner. Yeah, there was an Beetle bonus. Queen would have been a lot easier. Oh, I was really? hoping for Beetle Queen. Yeah, just stand yeah, above them and uh, use the M2. Look at the cooldown on the shift one second, uh, Man. single blink. He should be fine then. If he dies, he's gonna it's gonna be because he blinked into something like pizza or something like that. But like three blinks, not seven. having a lot of damage though. No, I mean, only one glass. This is great damage. It's just in comparison to everyone else. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. yeah. true. And Poor Zombie watches. is finishing up phase two right now. And again, they're still mm -hmm. keeping all their watches intact. They could be using Crowdfunder here. Um, I'm noticing that they aren't. Just for like a little bit extra. Maybe saving it for phase four. That might be true as well. That's a fair assumption. No, now they are. They're just lining up for pizza. They do have a technically a skip here. They do have shurikens. Um, they did not get it. Oh, I jumped right out of that poison puddle. All right, let's see how Zombies Phase 4 goes. He kept his crunder on a little bit too long at the end there, so he lost some extra DPS for Phase 4, but only got a few bullets in. This should be Orb Phase. Barely and there we go. Steal the point from K Ooh. here. Luckily, he got Opal back right before that orb hit him, but it's all good. Ooh. <laughs> Depending on how fast Ruddy is... No. I mean, Ruddy cannot get a point here, I don't think. We're going to let them no. play it out. But... Zombie can barely get a point. Should still be able to, but... Yeah, going to get a point right out from under Less than a minute. K there. Yep. He's got to get to the ship. I mean, this is this is what we're waiting for with glass, though, right? <laughs> this is like what we want to see. Yeah. The uh, absolute decimation. That was crazy. It just it just kept giving you guys watch printers and glass just like everywhere. <laughs> I know. You sure you have enough damage? No, Kay's pillar skip was just like slower than the fight <laughs> honestly true <laughs> it was so uh, what, fast what skip did you have zinc same one you did okay everyone did the the same ready was the only one he did it a little bit differently with the afterburner it just blinked right up there with a one second blink yeah that's just that's crazy, crazy. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't have damage unfortunately did they like no one go for so uh, soil pillars like there was a glass there, and it's yeah the yeah. I point for the Ruddy was near there but oh, didn't oh, pick oh, it yeah. up. He didn't find it. Or... Yeah, I didn't find it. He uh he I mean, did Ruddy's find the essence there, but my golems there. And zombie is done. Good job. Bring him in right now. <laughs> Hello, zomb. How's it going? Hello. How was the run? Yeah, it was good. Uh, I was supposed to take the glass on stage three, and yeah, misclick. But anyway. Oh, man. I didn't see that you saw it. I just saw that you left without it. So you just, like, chose something else. Yeah, no, I misclicked it. I hit the key that was in the same try shop. Oh, that's brutal, man. I, I ended up finding another one anyway, so. Yeah. There were a few uh, shards of glass on the on the run. I think that would have <laughs> honestly helped so much if you had it, but. Good job. Mm -hmm. you, uh, yeah. you did not break your watches, even with the, the glass and everything. You did good. You got a good time. Mm. Yeah. Fun run, though. Good Ready run. should be able to finish this out yeah. right now. He's trying to go for the, uh, the impromptu phase four skip. Couldn't really hold in time. He's just going to wait now. Ooh, missing that. Just barely. It's all okay, though. It's crazy to think oh, no. that a, what, like a 34 is the slowest run here. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Unfortunately, he didn't have quite enough damage to get the, the phase four skip. The, the fire band timed out, so. 
Let's see, is phase four though? Should be fine. Yeah, orb phase already. With shaped glass, would Mythrix just be forced to do orb phase pretty much every time immediately if you just hit him like with anything? No, I don't know. I mean, good question. With the uh, the percentage being the percentage threshold being that low anyway, makes sense. It's taking a long time to get back his damage though, so this phase four is taking a little bit longer than normal, or what he'd want. <laughs> And, oh god. <laughs> Luckily he doesn't have any damage left, so it's fine. Jesus. And he's done. So good job, Ruddy. We're seeing kind of the uh, points go back and forth a little bit here. Yeah, I mean, Ruddy, he won the first loadout, right? Yes. I don't want to... Uh, bring him in actually we can but i don't want to give him a death if he's not paying attention just because stats and whatnot mm. i feel like that would kind of suck <laughs> um well, it would but he's not gonna getting any points anyway no that's true now yeah, bring him in it's fine hello ready you're on the ship we know that um Unfortunately, you were the only one to break watches, so yeah, just kind of yeah, that was it. But you still had a pretty good run anyway, and you uh you came back pretty quick. So you also had a faster pillar skip, which saved a lot of time, I think. Yeah. Um, you had a lot of the damage items. You missed two shaped glass as well. I think there oh. was one at soup. Did you get the shaped glass at stage three? I got it stage five. Okay, there was one in a multi shop on like the middle ring. Uh, um, and that one. Yeah, was... I had watches and I just started going. Yeah. There was also another one in one of the lunar pods on the moon. Mm hmm. I know Somewhere you're over there. there. It looked like you just didn't see it. I don't know yeah, which one I was it was. Getting harassed. But either way, I mean, glass run. We're kind of hitting like all like the run types today. I'm still mm -hmm. curious when we're gonna get a heretic. Anyone want to go for heretic? <laughs> no, I'm just throwing that over. Uh, fold, don't worry. I mean, I've seen most items today. I, I've only not seen visions. So, was there no visions? There was today? visions on the first run. Yeah, I haven't seen visions yet. There was a uh, ruin in, in it's visions Japan. this run. No, Actually, last one. Okay, sorry. Then we we've seen everything then. Last run in the pod. And we haven't seen stone flux, okay. right? I, saw, I, saw I have. Flux. There was oh, the stone flux yeah. printer. Oh, was there? I I oh, it. was there? Yeah. Huge. And you didn't go in. I went all in next run. Run. Oh, Okay. Yeah. That's what I <laughs> I would, uh, <laughs> what do you guys think if, <laughs> we could have a rule where if you get heretic, you get a bonus point no matter what? That no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you practically already do. Right? Like, I mean, if you don't so win, if you. On, on the heretic, then you should actually get minus points. <laughs> <laughs> Just deducted. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> well, we only have two loadouts left. Game. I mean, with all the, the mm. items we've seen, though, I mean, there is ample opportunity to for it to happen, if it happens, so we'll see. Mm. Just throwing it out there, you know, if anyone wants to, uh, you know, get the bird, it would be kind of cool. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Not to influence you, you should just mm -hmm. try to win anyway. Obviously. Mm. Right. But, you know. Of course. Noted. All right, if you guys are ready for uh, Void Fiend, let's hit it up. Good luck, everybody. All right. Good All right. Good luck. Good luck. All right. Void Fiend. The lovely uh, staple survivor of only having one build. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we'll see. I have I some know. alternate abilities today, potentially. Yeah, just get the uh, the heresy items. All right, yeah. so this is another one where we have a Phalian Sanctuary, so high chance of a um, of a cleansing pool. We'll see if anyone takes it. Um, maybe, maybe if they get some some bad lunars stage one, or maybe just like okay ones, we do have the opportunity. 
I think this is... They also have Sulfur Pools, which also has a chance to spawn uh, Cleansing Pools as well. So, decent odds today if we ever want to see a Pearl in the races ever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hope we do. I hope we do. Every time that it's, like, been close to happening, uh, we've just seen it, like, barely not line up the way we want it. You know, it's not even. You see, hmm? <laughs> we've seen like five aspects at this point. Yeah, and not a single pearl. <laughs> yeah, zero pearls. This is what you really wanted to happen, isn't it? I can see these, all these stages lining up. We got, we got a lots of stages today where pools could be, or uh, the pearls could be. Oh, and vase stage one by Ruddy, right in the middle of the map. Okay, and so obviously he's just taking that right to the teleporter. It's like, you know what? I feel like... The moon barrel on this map, that it has just something crazy. I feel like in the last, like, three races, this map has shown up. There's been an equipment barrel there, and it's been, like, fucking base, gun. Yeah. Like, wings. It's always that barrel, specifically. Don't be too superstitious, but, you know, <laughs> it, it has been nice to us. But so you're like... speaking the truth. <laughs> yeah, I can't prove him wrong, but I can't prove him right either. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that was last well, race. There was a gun edit. right there. Just get Kami to edit like a compilation of all the things there. Like, see, see, it's like three. <laughs> it looks like everyone is pretty confident with Void Fiend here, uh, enough to kind of just start on teleporter. Uh oh, Ooh. Ruddy! Oh, the the, the the whole vase. Okay, yeah, that happens. Oof, that is quite the uh, the plus five to make. Having a plus five early on is so rough, dude. Not only because yeah. you know it puts you behind for the whole time, but mentally, like yeah. that's just weighing on you the entire race. So yeah, it changes your decision making gotta think what do i gotta do to make it up yeah and sometimes you just really can't sometimes all you can really hope for is just uh hoping your opponents do worse which is also a really bad feeling you know so mm -hmm. that's rough but now. it's happened in every run today that is true zombie the first one came the second and ready in the third it's zinc's turn next well i know it was k <laughs> in the first one too Oh, did he? All oh, yeah, because this could pop up. Yeah, yeah. Forgot already. Insane. <laughs> Alright, Zombie Zinx. Zombie Zinx. Zombie Zinx. And Zing is the first one to stage two. No Lunars. Um, stage one, actually, for anybody. Depressing. Especially since we're about to go to Affiliate Sanctuary. Uh, Probably loot. Stage two. Right off spawn. Everyone should be able to get this. If they don't, they're absolutely Ooh. throwing. <laughs> so... That's kind of nice. That is getting nice. getting a color really also purity. means uh, no purity probably. Mm. They want to keep that damage. That's true. But we'll see. I mean, purity anyway is like I don't know. I mean, I guess it depends how the it build is... goes. It is like a a better pillar skip, but they already have vase, so well, I don't know. I guess Kate, Kate didn't find vase actually. Mm, that is unfortunate. You always got to go after those equipment barrels. There's one right next to him. Looks like he's grinding for it. But I don't think it, like, I don't know. I think people are probably not going to prioritize equipment anymore. Now that you have vase, it's like, what can you really get that's better? Maybe like a gun for a there temporary thing but i don't know you're kind of done looting equipment once you get vase yeah it's hard to say i mean you could try to go after tonic i guess that is, that is true yeah i didn't think about that gotta get your your lunar head in the game it's blue time that damage is crazy uh, i mean I, this is void fiend you know <laughs> Oh no, and Zinc accidentally picked up the mired urn on stage two. He stepped right into it. 
um, which is a little bit rough on Void Fiend. Void Fiend specifically, the points, or the way to go really fast with Void Fiend is to spend as much time <laughs> in your corrupted form as humanly possible. And Mired Urn basically keeps you in your uh, your standard form yeah. the most. More than pretty much anything else. Um, so It's that's too really good at rough. keeping you alive. Yeah, it's kind of a big time loss here. Or just more of a damage loss, which again is a time loss, so... We'll see. He'll see, probably uh, get rid of it with a scrapper when he finds one. Zinc freaking out there. Yeah, really After not picking it, it up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love how expressive some of these racers are. Like Zinc and Cabbage will always shake their camera. <laughs> yeah. Looks like everyone that does have the poly loot, which is good, because if they didn't, they'd be throwing. Ruddy is, uh, you know, pondering his plus five. <laughs> <laughs> he hovered over it. He's like, dude. Yeah, we can see from K and Ruddy, they are specifically not picking up the Myrdern's gear, so. Yeah, that's got to be rough for Ruddy, like coming in last in the last loadout and then plus fiving Ooh. immediately. That's just got to be super demoralizing. Zinc found Ruddy does a have bottled chaos. Win on the board, though. He does. Ooh. Again. <laughs> yeah for zinc i know and that's enough for zinc to just say see ya and he's out to stage three man we have not seen an actual lunar item yet on this run so and you said there was a pool right there was a pool it never lines up man it's yeah, never gonna pressing. happen <laughs> oh, well. i mean there's another chance here at sulfur pools there is there's an ignition tank printer on stage three here there is Ooh. one gas and it's on k so i don't k does he could go into it. his greens are not that good and specifically the scythe is one he does not want with void fiend either oh oh and that's actually not... even worse well, yeah. with the rejuvenation <laughs> rack so <laughs> and specifically oh. leaving the martyr on the ground not picking up really oh. finding the bald chaos Good. I thought Kay would go back for that equipment barrel. Hmm. Probably should have, but I just only get enough money. Too far away, too. Getting the rejuve rack, that's kind of... Hmm. You can see his face. He's not happy with that one. He's like, dude. <laughs> is that, like, a bad item to have on Void Fiend? Or is it kind of neutral? It's neutral for passive healing, um, but it's kind of worse if you spend a lot of time healing yourself with the uh the r the special because it will give you a, a healing boost which does take away more corruption so it's about how mm. confident you are with the character obviously if you have like something like mired urn or a scythe or something extra it it'd be bad but usually it, it's okay with the potential of being slightly bursting worse. down yeah the xena has six and, health and that's just Normal Void Fiend still. I mean, we just have a Polyloot and Void Fiend, and that's it. He used the yep. vase there, it looked like, for Warhorn. So he's able to get that, too. But he's actually trying to farm Smart. pennies as well. Off some of the, the heavier hitting enemies here. It's kind of hard to get money on this map with pennies, honestly. Because the Poison Pods... Oh, K actually taking a huge hit from the Construct, but it did so much damage to him that he got all of his... Uh, his health back with the special. I have to think that Zinc is looking for a scrapper here just to get rid of this damn urn. Yeah, I mean, it's earning him some money, though, I guess. He's able to heal off the enemies and just earn the health right back. I suppose. Yeah, they're really trying to make the most of it. <sighs> That's true. K is getting harassed heavily here. He's spending a lot of time in the uh, Corrupted form, and because he wasn't able to get damage early on on the Construct when it was closer to the ground in Corrupted form, it's kind of too late now. It's a little bit too far away, yeah. so he has to stay in his regular standard form and uh, hope he can do enough damage, which is kind of hard. Yeah. I... Ugh. <laughs> yeah. So gross. I hate this boss. Yeah, this has got to be one of the worst enemies in the entire game. Like, it just 
goes all the way off the map. Yep. Oh, and Zinc, we find our first transcendence, which Ooh. is interesting on Void Fiend, right? Because you can't, uh, you will just enter a corrupted form. You can't cancel it with uh, the healing anymore. Oh, yeah. Well, does that, my, that cancels the Meyer? Actually, earn, right? you still can. Is it how much healing you receive? Or is it total? I'm not sure. Heal by one. I, don't know, I think see. he's trying to figure that out as well. Yeah. It I, might be healing to see. I think still, still fucks with you. I could be wrong, though. I mean, it would still lower it because it's like pretty fast per tick, but we'll see. Another thing, though, is Transcendence opens up the door for host skipping, so we can see a faster skip here as well. Mainly, I think from K though, and K does have wings, so I I don't know if we'll see anyone do it. But K did get the transcendence, so maybe. Nice. I'm happy to see K get the wings here though. Not having Vase, I was worried was gonna set him back. Yeah, Zombie is kind of struggling the same way K did with the uh, the construct on stage three here. It's just not close enough to deal damage, unfortunately. Ready should be able to find the transcendence right here in front of him. And Zing is about to kill the stage four boss already because Void Fiend. <laughs> we do not have any, like, the only damage we have is Polyloot, right? And that's it. And it's just yeah. Void Fiend damage. It's just how it is. <laughs> it It is going to start to kind of drop off here, though. Mm -hmm. You can already see it a little bit with Zink. He's getting through it, but. Stage five could stage be a five problem. Could, it could be. Yeah. We'll see. Depending on how fast he goes, just maybe just needs something like a, a watch or two, something small, just to keep it up. As long as he's staying corrupted for him, he is uh, doing the most he can. But it's really hard for him to do that. Like you can see his corruption meter basically just staying stagnant, like going very, very slowly. No scrapper for that mired urn still, unfortunate. And this boss should be down. What do we get from the stage for a TP? A predatory. Cool. Any amount of crit is nice on Void Fiend, especially predatory here, because we can extend the duration of um, the corrupted form, which is like holding M1. Uh, looks That's like true. Ruddy has bull rugged it on stage four. We have a corrupted boss oh, nice. in the uh, in the TP event. Which is not That's great. That's scary on the, <laughs> the vagrants because those orbs, like even like shooting them, they still hurt you. Yeah. It's okay with Void Fiend though because both shifts cleanse. So yeah. we're all right. It's just mm. one of those things. As if Void Fiend wasn't OP enough. You yeah, gave him a cleanse. Just give him a built in blast shower. Oh, and a band for Zinc as well, which is really, really good oh. here. Oh, oh and that is problems. a plus five for Ruddy. The larva just kind of overwhelmed the TP there, and it was a little bit too much with the low speed. A brittle crown for K as well. They're like second lunar of the run, which is kind of surprising. We have a, like a 10% chance for every item to be a lunar, and uh, it's taken this long to get two on yeah. this one. Just rolled that way. Looks like Zing is going back for the... Uh, the void seed there's only like one or two enemies left in it hoping for that uh plasma shrimp surely getting a needle tick which is not bad he already had to uh bleed so that kind of works out well he's able to get a rose buckler as well which is armor on top of the uh the corrupted form armor which is already like 50 percent neutralized damage taken Oh, and there's a hidden crit printer on stage three that no one got because no one turned around at the start. I feel like mm -hmm. that's that's something that no <laughs> one has been doing. They just like they spawn to a stage and they just walk <laughs> forward. But last it was during the tournament, Corny turned around and saw a churf printer and no one turned around on that one. No one's looking behind him. You'll never let us live that down, will you? No. <laughs> And there's another transcendence on uh, stage five, actually, which just means more health. But that uh, that crit is really nice for zombie. He is behind a couple stages here, or rather a full stage from the people in the lead. But that crit will help. How does this crit work but... with the uh, scythe with all the healing? 
Hmm. I think because Scythe uh, has less healing on E8, it's still a net gain from all the crit yeah. from corrupted form damage. Zombie does have the Reju Brack, so. Hmm. Well, I don't know. That's the corrupted form also, the corrupted form M1 also has like a 0.625 proc coefficient, which also lowers the healing of the scythe, which could matter there as well. It depends. I think we'll see it if at worst, probably kind of stand still. At best, the crit will override it. On stage five, K just found a strides of heresy as well. It looks like he's specifically not taking it. Which is interesting. It both the shifts kind of seem about the same to Ooh. me. But uh, okay. the strides does, does heals. Sh- which is bad. I can't remember. Does do the like heretic items affect both like corrupted form and non corrupted? Or it, is it just one? I've never taken a lunar item on Void Fiend, so I have no idea. <laughs> I I think I, don't like, I remember on news, but I think so. I think I think it does do both. All right. Okay. I remember on launch it was just the one, but I can't remember if they patched it or not. I know, like with other mods, uh, like when you switch out the abilities, once you transform, you'll get the full Veen to transformed kit. <laughs> but I don't know if that works the same either. There. Hmm. I think specifically with the lunar items, that might be both. We'll see. Maybe. But I don't know. I mean, like, what essentially, would you it's up? like the same thing. Yeah. I don't think you really want to give up anything on a Void Fiend, though. His kit's pretty damn good. Yeah, no, maybe the... um, Like, if you got Ruin, that could be pretty good. It would take away your ability to transform, though, wouldn't it? Is it tied to that, or is it just in the character? It would, but... Like, I don't know. I don't remember. That's another thing where, like, with mods, it works differently. I mean, Ruin would be really good here. Like, AP round printer on stage 5. They don't really need to transform. Or stay in non-corrupted form. Sank is going all in to this AP. He's just going AP poly loot with the needle tick, and he's just like, fuck it. Which, probably the right move here. Ruddy is really struggling here. Yeah, kind of being overwhelmed, no AoE, oh. transcendent saving fall damage, so it's all fine. Zombie's kind of in a tough situation as well on um on stage four. Yeah, I think R and D's right. The uh, the scythe is screwing with the corruption meter a bit. Unfortunate, man. Yeah, he's... oh, <laughs> they also have the mired urn as well. So this urn is like you're you're three, basically Jack. perma stuck in regular. Form. The urn with the reju. Ruddy is... is farming the teleporter by entering Rough. and exiting the vase under the map. This is the tech we've been looking for, dude. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's awesome. All the little like ways you can charge teleporter like underneath the map on stage five are always fun. Like on uh score shakers as well. Those are always good. Kane's just looting up before he goes. Zinc is on the moon. We got a plus five for zombie, unfortunately, right at the end of TP. I think that was a larva. Uh, he made it all so the sad. way through, and then it was just right at the end. Okay, fortunately. Okay, fortunately, get in the AP round printer as well. Yeah, I don't know. I think this is going to be pretty close between Zinc and K, but Zinc has the vase. The thing's looking pretty damn good. Has a vase. Is already oh. on the moon. There's also a bleed printer. He's going into Kay bleed. Took a couple of those yeah. as well. I would have liked to see K get more AP rounds, but maybe just want to keep that watch along with it, which is is good. That's fair. And Sync is going into the fight right now. Adaptive chest on zombie. Let's see if we can pull out anything good. ATG immediately. Really good pull. No one else found that one. It was the first one in there, so. All right. Let's see Zinx fight. See how much damage. Again, the the whole idea is just to spend as much time in corrupted form as possible. 
That is a plus five for Ruddy, and he's trying to concede. Oh, man. That is rough. Having the plus five from stage one, the plus five again, and then this one. Oh. I didn't I mean, look at this. This teleporter, that Z construct. Another Not even one at half health, at, at full charge on teleporter. Zinc actually Ugh. high rolling a uh, a cube, a primordial cube for Mithrix here with the Bayos, so you can just get some extra free damage here. Nice. Zinc is looking really good. Let's see if they manage to die to the pizza. Surely not. Surely they'll be fine. They do have a feather as well, so even if they have low speed, uh, they're not really too worried about uh, having to focus on dodging as much. They do still have one-shot protection too, so if they do get hit, they're probably fine. And it is like a 20-minute Mithrix. So I don't know that it would even do that much anyway. Also, they have uh, opals, and if they spend more time in corrupted mode, especially with rucklers, that's a lot of damage blocked with the more health from transcendence as well. It does look pretty good for them. These AP rounds are so huge. Oh, look at that vasing inside the... Or, like, using your M1 while inside the vase. Yep. That's the and base it looked tech. like he landed. He landed a prion on uh, one of those wisps there. That the is the bass is rolling right now. That's awesome. Reminder: bass is seated, so if the others play it right, they can get the same things to happen. But the fact that he used uh, them as he's had is really good. K is on the fight now. A lot of damage here. Already halfway through phase one. Interesting. I don't think they can catch up to Zinc, but this should be an easy second place for K here. Although, K just <laughs> getting fucked up by that Mithrix hammer. I Zink. mean, yeah. Zinc is one oh. shot from pizza, so if he dies to pizza here, it's because he did not shift. Well, I'm, like actually, I'm not sure. With a 22-minute Mithrix, he might be okay. With the Opal, too. I think I he know. could survive. But... That's a lot of health missing. We'll see. But he's I mean... got a Transcendence. Transcendence. Yeah. But it does a lot of damage. Maybe with two Opals. I don't know. I If he lives, it'll be barely. I don't know. I think you're used to like full looting Mithrix where it does one shot you, but when you get here this early, it's really not too bad. Oh, yeah. I think they just got hit by it and they were fine. Yeah. No, they got hit by an orb from behind. Oh. They got, they just pushed through the fight with the corrupted form enough. Oh, and he, he got Gubo as well for an instant <laughs> phase four uh, just kill. So, done. Good job to Zink. Very, very fast run. Beautifully done. This, uh, holy shit. It's going to be like a 25 minute run here. Yeah. What's the world record again for Void Phoenix? <laughs> Very I low. think like 22 minutes. Yeah. But so it's, not... I think it's been beaten a couple times in scrims too. Like it I has. Know K beat it like a few I've weeks ago. I've seen Cabbage beat it live. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I remember watching that. You said that. Uh, he didn't record it, so it didn't count, but he did get the world record. Yeah. Ooh. I saw the fastest this, already going into run. Oh, interesting. With the poly loot? With this... yeah. I mean, he is trying to make the most of it, which I can respect here. Zombie just picking up another plus five as well. And because Ruddy is on the moon with three and Zombie is on stage five with two, I don't know. Could play out for him. And also getting an ATG. Like, Ruddy has a pretty... uh. Pretty nice All right. kit here. We'll see how it goes. Does have the plus fives, though. He does. I mean, I guess but with zombie, zombie being where he is, isn't too far behind, though. Yeah, it's a fight for third. We'll see. All right. The world record for Veen is 2151. So about a 22 minute. And uh, I mean, man, that's really not that far off from a Zinx run here either. 
not in the grand scheme of things. For a live non resetted run. And there we go. K done with phase three. Sync done with charging the ship. Let's bring in Sync. Hello, Zink. Hello, hello. How, was, How was the run? Oh, it was pretty good. Um, yeah, it was like a good void feed run. And there was also a transcendence, but that didn't matter too much. It did not. Honestly, there was really not that many lunars. There was like a transcendence here and there. There was a brittle crown, and I think that might have been it. Actually, it might have been one more. Wait, there. There's a corpse bloom I saw. Oh, and the strides, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Strides, the stage four. Wait, so only out of curiosity. Your run. What's that? I, stage, stage five. five. Stage four. Oh. What? What's sink? What's up? Go ahead. I, I wanted to ask Does corpse bloom have your healing in eclipse? And can I use it to make my mired urn not accidentally make me not corrupt? Or is that a myth? Corpse Plume is, like, fucked up in Eclipse. Yeah. Does it have your healing, though? Um, I think so. It has I'm the not healing sure that if you it... receive from it. Definitely. Um, Or it's, like, the eighth property or whatever. Because it's, it's yeah. have through two things it's twice. Have twice. Mm -hmm. So I but think it... you get, like, one-eighth more healing total. I'm on get more healing. Cap's team. Like there was a lot of misinformation about that a long time ago, and I don't remember something that's actually like affirmative about it. So I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> yeah, neither do I. Yeah, I don't want to be wrong. So, um, there was a rejuve rack too, though, which is kind of. Yo. I know that affects it as well. Yeah. Um. Really, I think the only thing with your run was picking up that urn, but yeah, beyond that. Just a super solid run. In the good void fiend with some crazy premier stage five hoofs, boss damage, and bleed. I didn't even you see the just hoof. one on stage five alone. Let's bring in K as well. Hello, K. No, how was the run? Slow, I can't hear you. Slow, slow. Tell yeah. us about yours. Um, um, uh, I thought I did. Yeah, I. <laughs> not <much>. Slow. <laughs> Slow. Did I stutter? Must... I should have <laughs> probably just all in on on a printer instead of splitting it up, maybe for a needle tick or something. But I don't think it's catching up to saying I don't think it's saving two minutes. So, yeah. Um. You did miss a vase at the very beginning on stage was, one. Oh man, it was that uh, was pretty good. Right in front of a uh, spawn, just down there by like the edge of the cliff. And I think we're the only one to not get it. Unfortunately, yeah. yeah. Zombie actually well, gave up his. Did trade it out. Yeah, interestingly. I think this is gonna be a dump for ruddy here if. The zombie doesn't go into the the cauldrons here. Like, you know, the double clover ATG. I've been watching this fight and it's been going really quick. And yeah, depending on those ATG procs. It's really it's good. Interesting build. Oh man. He just pretty much went all into soup. Soup had the clovers, the ATGs, and he was just like, you know what? I'm kinda down on time here. Just let's go. <laughs> Neither of them really went into the APR printer. I don't think they saw it, unfortunately. Did they? I mean, I'd the be zombie shocked did go into the crit printer, but like, that's true. The the zombie got a really unfortunate build here with like the urn and the rejuve rack. Yeah, it really. He just down. has not been able to use corrupted mode. Just sad because he's the one who got the crit printer too. There's no yeah. TG. Oh my god. Okay. Like he <laughs> potentially could have had the quickest run here if he just did not have those two items. Really? Oh, the Crippen was on uh, sulfur pools. I think it was behind where everyone went. Behind oh. where everyone spawned, so no one turned around to see it. Unfortunately, except oh, zombie. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. 
which we'll see if zombie can catch nice. up. Zombie does have one fewer plus five here. So if he beats this in five minutes, then he can get a point on the board. It looks like he's kind of struggling what, here. How much he speed does he have? Work? He doesn't have he, enough speed. He to doesn't do need this. any speed. He doesn't need any speed for host skipping. Yeah, but he's what he's trying to do right now. Oh, he's just trying to move yeah. over to the cauldrons so he can host skip. I see. Yeah. It's just he didn't want to okay. do it on the ground. He didn't want to die. Fair enough. Interesting getting rid of the vase for the, the missiles here. He had it. No, he did have it. I remember his reaction to getting it. I think he was just really struggling in one of the stages um, for damage. He thought maybe it could help him out a little bit more. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of DML. Uh, I think the cooldown is really long. And Vase is yeah. so much time already, but... All right, that him doing that on the host skip and taking so much time might have cost him a point on the board, but we'll see. Depending on his damage here, he could get third. So I, 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 be I just worry all that healing. Yeah. I mean, he does have the crit. It seems like he's keeping up corrupted mode decently well here. It's not it like draining really quick. It's not draining super fast when he's shooting Mithrix, which is all that matters. He, he has to have really good spacing here to like where he can hit the enemies, but not be close enough to have Vase activate or earn. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, let's bring in Ready. Hello, Ready. Hello. How was the run? Run was okay. I mean. <laughs> I'm just bad. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah, relatable. Well, you may or may not get third place here. <laughs> I'm not right. thinking you will get third. Oh, looking at the zombies on here. Zombie is 42 minutes on phase one. So my deaths didn't actually matter. That's kind of cool. Yeah, maybe not. It's really close. He's just, he can't really get into corrupted mode very fast. He's trying. Yeah, I I think you've got this ready. What was your final time? 46 to 43. I don't Ooh, know. He rolled the Bayos there, finished off phase one at least. Oh, that's phase one. Okay. I thought it was phase three. No, no, no. But charging ship takes a full minute too. And he's very slow. Like I, I like your cauldron play. Yeah, the cauldron, the cauldron play, play was cool. Yeah, I didn't have much else, so no brainer. Um, you guys did miss the APR printer on stage five, I think. Ah. it was APR. Uh, uh, bleed I don't think that was worth. Speed? No, I had yeah, three white speed, items. Maybe. You also missed a crit printer on stage three. Fine. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I just had no white items, so yeah, didn't do much. Also, again, not really many lunars this one as well. It was just kind of mm -hmm. transcendence, basically. Unfortunately. And he's got to clear this phase in just about a minute here. He basically has to make space. Yeah. Um, but look at how the Mern is just eating all of his corruption right when he gets close. The thing is, he can't oh, get away. So, so, like, it's just keeps draining it. At least he's about to corrupt here. Get some damage in. Maybe get some damage it's in awesome. during pizza. Damage boost into corruption. <laughs> That's true. Just staying in the fire pillar, honestly. I actually agree with K here. That would probably be the best way to do it. Yeah, but I wouldn't take the fire pillar. I would take the explorer. I mean, either one. Pillar is kind of. It is a lot of damage. Fast. Toe in, toe out. Ooh. And you can you can heal. Transcendence, but don't probably. It's gonna be close. 
And well, is he there any way here? he can mm-hmm. face four skins? He's yeah, got the sure shuriken. He, can... he could do it with DML theoretically, but he just used it. Or no, he has it up. He has it up. He just used it. I don't think he knows he can use it with then skip with DML. You can skip with DML. Yep. Oh, and the plus five just sealed his fate at the I'm end lucky. there. I mean, oh no! Not focusing. You on just that stand spoiler. in the center, like while you kill Mithrix with the DML. Much. Yeah. Good to know. It's just like the AWU skip, basically. Hmm. Okay, Zen, hear me out. You get last, and Ruddy, one of us needs to get a bonus point, and then. Uh... All right, I'll, might I'll take the bonus point. point. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I'd like to see Zombie's time here to see if he could have gotten the uh, the points without the uh, the plus five. I don't think so. It's already <laughs> no, too, it's late. too late. Yeah. No, it's way too late. Tough. <sighs> yeah, Mern is... Lost him like five minutes, probably. It's a lot of time you lose. And it's not only just that, like, he couldn't kill the bosses. Uh, he just couldn't be in corrupted form. He just couldn't do the damage. Did he pick it up accidentally? I don't know. I'll have to ask him. But we can bring him in now. So let's see what he has to say. Hello, zombie. Hello. Hi. It was that final plus five. You were close. Um, I don't yeah. think you would have been able to get it. You were just a little mm-hmm. bit off. I think the host skipping was a little bit tough. The no speed. But the biggest mm-hmm. biggest thing was the Mern. Yeah, the Mern. Well, I don't know. I'm, I feel hit or miss with it because it kind of helped me survive stage three. But yeah, for the rest of the run, it was just a uh, bit of a grief. Yeah. Honestly, if you die one stage three without the Mern, you have less time overall, I think. Mm. The thing is, like, even when you're in corrupted form, you just have so much damage. Uh, yeah, damage too. definitely much better. But it was tough, <laughs> and not too many mm. winners on this time either. You were the only one to find the crit printer, so you did turn around. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I think it did miss the APR printer on stage five, as well as the uh, the bleed. Yeah, no, I did miss that mm-hmm. on stage five. Those I were... did see the bleed one. Okay, never mind then. Yeah, obviously not really wanting to lose the up. crit. Um, yeah, APR printer was way up top. All right. Yep. Nice. All right. Fair enough. I mean, yeah. Other than taking the burn, I think that run was pretty good. Yeah, just a little I mean, tough there. That, that the constructs. Redo rack too. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right. So going into the last loadout, like a uh, zinc. Uh, I mean, K and <laughs> Ruddy have to get bonus points to uh they, and to usurp. We, we both zinc. get bonus points. Yeah. We both get two bonus points, and then an audio and we have a tiebreaker. I agree. <laughs> Crazy final. Hmm. Yeah. It's going to be pretty hard to take down Zink here, but, I mean, he has earned it. Two first places in a second. We'll see what we can do with Captain. I mean, you know, mm-hmm. might be bird time. Just get the bird. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Get the microbots bird. Dude, microbots. I'm, hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's pretty good. Anyway, you guys are ready for the captain, so have fun. Good luck. Good we'll luck. do. Later, buddy. All right. So this one's kind of interesting. Captain I don't is know. a character I feel like that could use some of these heresy items extremely well, actually. R&D, how, how do you feel about Captain? I personally think that Captain's Captain's great, but Bird's better. That's what I gotta say about it. <laughs> I think that one of the perfect yeah. scenarios you could probably get is all Bird except Visions, probably. Just keep the shotgun. 
Depends on your build, obviously. Uh, if you don't have like a really good M1 build, Bird is just immediately better. Probably it still is better. Unless you have like a bleed build. I don't know. Depends on the type of run you're doing, I suppose. But, I mean, hooks a heresy instead of the M2 that rarely anyone uses that much. Um, beacons here. Resupply is okay. But definitely more niche than, a, you know, Ruin with Captain Shotgun. Which is insane. Probably one of the yeah. most damaging things in the entire game, uh, DPS-wise. If not the most damaging thing. It is thing. pretty good. I think Ruin is... Uh, the most damp DPS ability, I'm pretty sure. I mean, Diablo's pretty good. I mean, it's good, but... <laughs> like, per second. Diablo, yeah. like, I don't know. It takes I a long time. I am not really a fan of playing Captain in the races, unless, unless it's Diablo. I really like Diablo races. They're fun. Orbitals just feel so horrible when you're fighting Mythrix. <laughs> You pretty much only you can, can never use him during pizza, him. and then if you do hit him when he spawns like in the center, then he has armor, and it's like, man, like I don't, it's tough. Meanwhile, with Diablo, you can just like insta kill him basically. Mm -hmm. As long as you just know the timings. Yeah, which isn't too okay. hard. Actually, doing yeah. another mountain shrine. Uh, look like and then <laughs> just spawning in two beacons on top of the boss getting some extra damage in there I mean it's a titan so easy peasy with captain you stand close enough to it it'll only do the fist and your orbital or your passive just deletes the fist so you know we're chilling oh it just leveled up so he has to go back in <laughs> and what do we get two ATGs oh. that was absolutely worth it on, uh, on Kazen for that one big high roll I don't know if anyone else saw the mountain shrine or if anyone else is doing it, but that's really good. Yeah, that is oh. a, a pretty good roll. It's like no one else is doing it. At least ready is not. I mean, stage one mountain shrines are a big risk. Can be definitely. Yeah, I mean, again, it's all about do you get beetle queen or not? <laughs> I mean, but even um double queen. vagrant could like, push you out of the yeah. teleporter a while, and that just means slower run they are i don't know i don't do them a lot of the time i feel like i die and we saw that earlier k did do a double mountain shrine and, and then he was die. punished for it yeah and sink is doing the mountain shrine here so let's see there's i mean again it's a uh, it's titan so very easy i actually agree with uh sink's Kind of approach here. He did not use both of his beacons for immediate damage. There's a clover right next to TP that K just found with the double ATGs. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. What a that, run to start right. out with, huh? I mean, hey. <laughs> That's nice. Everyone should That's find really nice. that. It is right there, sitting right in front of everybody. I was going to say, I agree with what Zink is doing, not using both beacons and the kind of speed shooting. Speed shooting is a very, very important thing to do with Captain. Um, K missed one of his beacons on the button, so he had to nah. the other one. <laughs> it happens. I will be shocked if anyone misses this. Actually, someone can. Ruddy doesn't have enough money for everything, and he might just not get the chest behind there. Ooh. We'll see. That would be really painful. It looks like Zombie instead is just going for the large chest next to TP and does not get the clover in the small chest to the left. Ooh. Not enough uh, money. That is unfortunate. Dude, that okay. is brutal. Well, it looks like Zinc has enough money. He should be able to get everything here. Um, that's in the immediate area. And Yeah, it looks like Ruddy's really going the wrong way as well. Now he's getting these two small oh, chests instead no. of getting the clover. Is this no. really going to be only K getting it? It might. I think Zink's looking at it. Zink's going for it. Good. Jeez, dude. <laughs> I mean, that's unfortunate, though, because I think they kind of needed Zink to not get that. Struggling oh. pressing the E button there. He wants to be fast. Well, that's a, that's a nice pickup for Zink, who is already massively in the lead, so... K is almost done with stage two already. I guess it's just 
as quick yeah. as possible now with this Clover ATG. Yeah, he's just going. I mean, he needs to try to get bonus points here. He's going to play true. as riskily as possible, I think. Do you think he's going to actually go for the bands? He put his beacon on the button. He's looking for he the other I mean, buttons, it looks like. He's trying to see if it's over this hill. So I don't know, maybe. And it's crazy, too, because oh, no. and K were both the ones that did the mountain shrine. Uh, so they both got the double ATG Clover, which is even more of a big deal. I mean, the thing is, Zinc never goes for bands. That's true. And Zinc is the main to beat right now. I think you might just gamble. If if I'm K, I think that's what I do. Yeah, I mean, Zinc sometimes does, but it has to be really free, like the God Pot or something, just like handed to you right off the right off the bat. So, and it is Captain, so it is very easy to get them. But, I mean, he doesn't see where the buttons are now. Kay's actually looting a bit more than I thought he would. Um, but we'll see what he's I mean, doing. Zombie's getting him. Zombie getting him basically immediately here. Where was the other button? I know Ooh, one was at this... Oh! Zombie capped it! He, uh, he died to one of the elders, just took the full shotgun. They'll get you. They'll get you. And there's a transcendence from TP, actually. Zinc did another mountain shrine and got a transcendence neural. And if no one... Oh. And K did not do the mountain shrine, he did not see it. Um, which means he does not have a free host skip like Zinc does. Mm, okay. Which, again, is putting Zinc even further in the lead right now. Uh, K did but not K... do the bans either. I think that's a good call. Probably going to try to get the pre on here. This is a run, man. <laughs> our uh, our budget Diablo. Yeah. On Fogbound like Lagoon, K gets the shaped glass. So. Okay. In a multi shop, everyone should see that. That's big. I don't know. K needs some kind of like advantage here, and he needs something really bad to happen to Zinc. I mean, <laughs> and things out already into stage three. So with a transcendence again. <clears throat> I mean, did Zinc do the mountain shrine on the last stage? Yes, he did both. Okay. That's how he got the transcendence there. The double ATG. Yep, <sighs> on the first one. Zinc does see the shape glass too, so that's not an advantage that K has here. K did find a sticky though, which is pretty nice with the ATGs and Clover. It's definitely not bad. He's gonna have to pretty much well, yeah, it's not bad. I just like it needs like one or two more to really get a little bit better. It's only a nine percent chance from an ATG at the moment, which is okay, but it's not gonna do a ton yet. One more and we're looking at a like 19% chance, which is very nice. I mean, just get lucky. Just get lucky, true. Zombie doing some speed shooting on Sage Shu boss. Love to see that. He actually did the Mount Trine, so he got rewarded with the Transcendence as well. I really want to see oh. Ruddy do the... Uh... Oh my god, and we get a Molten Perforator from Teleporter from Stage 3. So, again, the two with the uh, the Clover are really reaping the benefits here. That's really good. <laughs> Forgot Preon. Oh no. <laughs> that is tough. I mean I mean that would have been an advantage for K if he did get the Preon on this map. Oh no. Zinc just got a poly loot on stage three out of the void oh. cradle. Zinc is just cleaning up every good item. <laughs> Okay. Someone check for um, map packs. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I think Zinc basically has to loop at this and point. And for... <laughs> I need a pick. Dude. For any chance here. Dude. <laughs> Such a good build, man. K is, like, ahead. So as long as... As long as they keep moving forward, maybe. 
The thing is, though, even if they get ahead and Zink gets there just a little bit later, Zink's Mythrix fight is going to be so much faster. It's going to be really hard to have a, a lead substantial enough to, to get past Zink's Mythrix fight, I think. It's going to be tough. Hopefully, and Zink uh... is another poly. Okay, so there is one poly loot right next to TP that everyone should get. K does get it. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, you know, normal things. It still doesn't change the fact that Zinc has two, though, which is still a massive <laughs> bonus. Yeah. Melting the boss instantly. Getting his uh, Murph. He's posting dots in chat. <laughs> he knows how ridiculous this run is. <laughs> this, this is an insane run. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at the destruction. Holy shit. There is another Yuke in a multi shop right off the bat on stage four, so it is more poly loot. I really wish that uh, Reddy would have done the mountain shrine. He walked by it on his way back from the bands, and I think with the bands, um, it would have felt pretty easy. But that transcendence really is still kind of a game changer here. I think this is, like, potentially a world record seed. Oh, easily. <laughs> it depends on if they get, like, a, a good pillar skip here. I mean, Zinc does have a transcendence. That does take a lot of time to set up with low speed. It, would have it to does the take time. And, yeah, no speed. There is another sticky bomb in a potential on stage three as well. Zombie just found that one. I don't think uh, Zink or K are going for it. I mean, Zink is basically AFK in right now. He's not moving. Yeah. He's just shooting. <laughs> Playing a little tower Just having defense. fun right now. Yeah. Playing some okay. Lacrim. K getting a little bit of uh, speed. Yeah, when are the Simulacrum races? Oh, man. Oh, it was a speed front on a stage four. If you're K, do you take that? Probably. Because the only thing you want... Uh, that you don't want to lose is probably the uh, sticky bomb. So, oh yeah, and that even that's fine. Like, yeah, it's not like he's gonna be struggling for damage if he loses no. it. <laughs> it's just crazy to see Zink's uh, proc chains really right now, though. I think Zing will also be taking it as well. He doesn't even have a sticky bomb, so. He doesn't really want anything that he has. Losing the gas isn't even a problem. He has a will wisp. Um, and Murph doesn't matter. Like another shape glass. Wow. All right. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, another void here. Let's see. It's a Brit, but another Uke for a poly loot, so. Alright. <laughs> this is a run. Dumb. <laughs> That's so dumb. And then a no ban way, a for Zink, Murph, right? actually. Shuriken, which is honestly still really good here. Maybe even that better is. than a Murph would be. So K can win this run easily. He just needs to find a pillar skip. Without a pillar skip, Zink There's is going to pull There's another it. speed printer on stage four, and Zink found the hoof printer instead of the energy drink one. But he's mm. on the other side of the map from the second glass, so we'll see if that matters at Zink. all. The thing says okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's I mean, one of the craziest runs. The drink ever printer seen. does give you a little bit more value just in terms of raw speed. You have more control with hooves, but you know, in a race. <laughs> Sometimes you just want as much speed as possible. And then a capacitor for Zinc? What? Uh, instantly dead? Boss? Perfect. All right. <laughs> Every time I think, you know, K might be able to get ahead. Maybe, maybe it won't matter all the extra items that Zinc gets, but then he gets more. <laughs> he just picks up the good well, ones. I don't... It's actually kind of close here because... I don't know if he's going to I mean, Kate did find the two Ukes here. And the glass. So, like, they're basically at the same same part. Or they have basically the same build here. And K is off it's to stage just, 5. 
It's just that transcendence on Zinc. Yeah, that was a big because all 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 they needed was speed, and they got speed immediately. Mm -hmm. The thing is, Zinc is aware of how much damage he has. He just posted in chat. He's not gonna really go loot uh the area where the second class of the third Uke is on this side of the map. It'd be good or bad, I guess. Yeah. Zombie almost died. He's alright. He's chilling. <laughs> and a watch for K as well, going to the top of the map at stage five. Which Oh yeah. Just going. Okay. So you need that. Yep, you gotta. Blazing mini mushroom horde. Anyone have that in their bingo card or <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ah, that's not one we see very often. Usually, it's just like elders or something. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> oh my god, they're here sixteen minutes on the stage five TP. What? That's crazy, man. The other two non clovers got the crunder. That's a little sad. Yeah, where was that? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I just looked, and boom, they both had it, so. <laughs> oh, my God. Zombie missing Ruin in the adaptive chest. That would have been insane had he picked that up. Just letting it pop out. Oh, the stake. Man, the potential of this run is crazy. <laughs> if you're K, what are you thinking now? Like, do you look for a skip, or do you just send it and try to do pillars? I think he's going to send it. If he sees like a try shot from here, maybe he'll go for it or like an equipment barrel right like close by. But I think he's oh, talked about before that he's aware that like the more time you spend looking for stuff, I mean, you're losing time. You could just be done with pillars. Yeah. Did you see that um, Zinc got a grandparent as his boss? He was there just a little bit later. Yeah. Credits matter a lot, chat room, for uh, what you're able to get. If K had started up the teleporter the same time Zinc did, they would have gotten the same one. Like because he did not have enough for a grandparent. One minute difference. Yep. Imagine I had Preon. I think, is K maybe going to go to see what Lunars? Maybe get a Transcendence? Probably. I think I it's mean, also better to go to Soul here anyway. Too. Yeah. yeah. He has such good wave clear. I mean, so it can be really hard if you don't have damage, but that is not a problem he currently has. We're looking at this and we're thinking like, man, he's just going to get in here and just like win instantly. But if Zink or K get hit by pizza, that's a plus five. And suddenly that changes everything. I mean, it's very possible for K to get a bonus point here and uh, tie up. Well, I mean, if Zink uh, and the others play a little bit differently, I don't know. We'll see, but. It's possible. I mean, Ready's still on stage three. That is pretty behind. He's going to take Rackus actually out of the key box there. Okay. That's a pillar skip. All right. The thing Where is, Zinc's going to run up here right now. He he has speed. He has seven hooves. He's going to go right to the uh, the host gift spot, and he's going to get up there. So. The, the biggest thing K is hoping for here at the Lunar like area is like a Transcendence or something, probably. I mean, even yeah. then, actually, it would take probably more time to walk over the host yeah. spot and do it than just complete pillars, maybe. Yep. So, I don't know. Just more damage. Just to have Ta more tonic, shape here. glass? Maybe a Ruin? It is going to take Zinc a second to actually skip here just because, you know, host skipping, you have to like go up and then down and then up and then down. Takes a second. But there are no soul pillars. Not I think I uh, Zombie back. just opened the red chest and got a corpse in. <laughs> That's depressing. Oh, man. Okay, there is one soul pillar here, but <laughs> that is not what you want to see if you're K. No. You definitely want to see more. Just get done with pillars now, but now he has to walk all the way somewhere else. And Probably then walk blood or design. The... Yeah. It's tough. I think we even like if there were two solar soul pillars here. We could have seen faster pillars than a pillar skip. Honestly, yeah, potentially. 
I don't really think K saw any of the buds there or the pods or anything. So he's just there sad. was one that was on the wall. A little okay. he couldn't reach it, but damn, that is tragic. He's just gotta get out, do his next pillar. Zinc on his way up already. Oh man. I mean, maybe there's a headset in the soup here. I mean, that would be insane. Was he going to give up, though, all of his ATGs? I don't know. Yeah. There's a spare drone parts, that's but... Hard. That's not oh, really he... what we want here. <laughs> yeah, my feeling when I do pillars. <laughs> Oh, pocket ICBM? Where? In the soup. Oh, okay. Okay. It's kind of risky, though. For it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's... that's... tough. You know that's what's going to happen. All right, Sink in the fight. Let's see it. Let's see how good his damage uh, is. This is going to be nuts. Got that capacitor, too. He's got to be careful, though. No feather. He's speed shooting mythics right now, which obviously getting a ton of value out of that. This game is dying. Yeah, the lag from all the things happening. And that's oh, he did get slapped there, but it's all OK. Speed shoot just leveled phase one. He's playing it very well. K is starting his fight right now, which starting the fight he's not that far behind but man that extra ruddy glass oh ruddy has an interesting build doesn't he <laughs> yeah the uh light flux pauldron interesting oh and k dies crazy. with a plus five he got slapped oh no that's hmm. the thing we didn't want to see is uh such yeah. low health with glass Let's see if then gets it by pizza here maybe it'll even out almost saying finishing off phase three that quick that was actually it gives zombie an opportunity to steal from k though it does he, zombie does have transcendence the nice speed shoot phase four for zinc there and he gets it done so fast good job oh. zinc this is he, so he got fast. the run and he played it so well. Does anyone want to tell me what the world record is for Captain Gauntlet? Oh, it's it's really low. It's, it's way like lower than this. Yeah, but like it's definitely sub twenty. Does Ruddy still have it, or does someone else have it now? I think he might. Let me check. It is a Diablo record, so it's massively different. Pray on, pray on. Oh no. <laughs> that might have actually made quite a bit of a difference there. It might have it, put him over the edge. It yeah. is ready with a 1925. Yeah, with uh, the Diablo setups for an instant uh, Mythrix. Oof. And K finishes up with that plus five, man. It's brutal. Oh. Zomb zombie plus five. Earlier. I didn't even see. <laughs> Ruddy gets the uh, the corpse swim from legendary. He's <laughs> even <laughs> look at this camera there. <laughs> He's not oh, a man. meme. <laughs> He's like, all right, no one would have done this one. I gotta get something, you know, turn around, drone parts, maybe, you know, headset. <laughs> I love eulogy. Wow, Zombie man. did not print any speed, it looks like. I don't know if he found one of them. Ooh, yeah. Glass. Ruddy does have to take it. He's like, fuck it. We need it. And w with that plus five, the zombie cannot pull ahead of zinc here. Or pull ahead of K. Nobody can pull ahead of zinc at this point. Yeah. Very, uh, very interesting on captain zinc? run. <laughs> See, yeah. Just came down. <laughs> To that stage two mountain shrine and getting that transcendence. Yeah, I mean, not everyone found the clover stage one though. That was a big deal. 
Now the mountain shrines were game changing. Absolutely. Let's bring in a they were. sink. Hello, sink. Hello. That was that was an okay run, right? It was tolerable, I think. Yeah, <laughs> we got through. Congrats on uh, winning today's uh, loadout race. By the way, give everyone yeah, or everyone give Zink a hand for uh, for winning the loadout races. Congratulations! The Nearly a full event. sweep. Nearly three first places in a second. Yeah, it's all right. You did okay, mm -hmm. champ. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get too big of a head. Uh, yeah. So, uh, how was the uh, how was the captain run? What were you thinking through it? Yeah, I was thinking, like, this run can't get any better unless there's, like, a speed printer on stage three, and then there was a speed printer. <laughs> so, like, and then I found whatever. There was, like, two, three polylutes, transcendence, and you just one-tapped everything. I'm like, wow, this is truly one of those you hard mean, runs. You even okay. missed a few polylutes. You did. Oh, missed you missed too. another glass, another polyloot. Um, you missed some sticky bombs for the ATG. Like, there was just, like, damage everywhere. Just... <laughs> Uh, all over the map. I don't think I needed them. You did not at all. But you know, <laughs> just just to show how much there really was. There was even a watch. I don't think you even had. I'm not sure. Stage five, but I think I got that one. Okay. Well, damage doesn't matter if you have a skip. So okay, yeah. about that. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You... If I if I like forget the prey on on stage three, I win without the skip even. Just because Mythrix is like ten second fight. Maybe. Um, but you didn't do the stage two mountain trend, which had a transcendence. I didn't see oh, Okay, it. so it was the good one and not the bad one. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, oh, I think... RNG curry, that's crazy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you two were the only ones to get the clover. No one else turned and saw it behind him next to the TP. So, really? I, yeah. mean, I mean, those are two like with, with two, with all the items we had and the double glass, Clover isn't like a big carry, right? I mean, I don't know. It was pretty <laughs> good. I mean, it's, it's great, yeah, <laughs> but if, if you have the same items without the Clover, then you still have like roughly the same time. But they didn't you know, do I'm just the, mad uh, that I... the X-ray TGs on stage one either. But yeah, the Prayon would have helped. Just... How do I forget that Prayon is like existing? I was like, I'm like, oh, is it a prey on stage? Because I forgot to check the stage order. But then I was there, and I'm like, this prey on is probably far away, so I didn't bother to pick it up. But I was there at like seven minutes, just thinking about getting a prey on versus getting these three poly stage was, or whatever. Yeah, I was also there at seven minutes, but I ended up not finding a single equipment the entire run, and having that prey on would have made me one shot every Mythrix face. There was a mm -hmm. uh, a capacitor on stage four, kind of near TP, up on the ledge, I think, or like below the yeah, ledge. I. I found a like an equipment bar after leaving. Yeah, that was the one. I think there might have been a prey on on stage four as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, sure there was like have a one. lot, but I missed it all. That's tragic. This, no, but okay. it doesn't matter. Zing Zing wins anyway, and deservedly so. Like, look at the times. That's crazy. So this is a fight for third right now. Um, Ruddy a little bit behind, but Ruddy does not have a plus five. Still looting. I, I'm not sure why. Maybe just looking for a skip. I think that's what it's happening, yeah. I mean, hey, if he gets there fast enough. Like, soul Pillar, you would have won too. Like, yeah, only yeah, having the one. Like, like, you would have had faster pillars than Zinc's pillar skip. I was. That was what I was hoping for. <laughs> I almost had to do blood, which would have been bad because I had no HP. I guess I could have. I thought about just going to blood and losing the watch. Might have been better, but I was scared to get one tap when I charged the blood pillar. There's an HG one HG printer. So. What? <laughs> oh, okay. And that seed was. This so no, thing. dude. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this is crazy. This is actually one of the craziest seeds I've ever seen. <laughs> what the fuck? You just trip over damage in this run. Yeah, dude. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, grab the gesture. <laughs> Oh, he has the egg with the gesture here. That could be interesting, interesting. or terrible. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I can see this going horribly wrong. Hmm. Interesting. Getting a band, nice. But I don't know. Zombies. Unless he just gotta leave, man. Blasting through. 
Yeah. I don't know. No, Ruddy can't skip pillars, so I need just to do them. Are you sure? What's the cooldown on that egg? Maybe it was just like... It's like I... Oh, no. Seconds. Uh... Uh, I don't know. That's going to be tough. I don't, I don't know about that one. Because yeah. you need to do like two back to back almost. Well, no, it, it's possible maybe. If you get stuck on the right spots, but it's still going to take a while. It's, you know, it's honestly, it's kind of a mirror of what we just saw with Zink and K here. The yep. zombie doing the mountain shrine and getting the transcendence. It's crazy how much value that had. Oh, zombie. Zombie's low. Taking taking some hits here. 47 HP in a dream. Going for the uh, the speed shooting. I respect it. Trying to get the phase four skip, but just a little bit late on there. And oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. He's fine. He's fine. He's. Ooh, oh, God. Interesting. Trying to set up for the face first. And he actually oh, does a good nice. job with the shuriken uh, band on the end there. So, really good positioning from him. Yeah. I think that seals it for Ruddy. Oof. I mean. Let's see what's in these pods. I'm curious. Oh, I'm so glad he checked. K could not reach this one. It's Sonic. <laughs> Dude, what? Why is there... <laughs> Everywhere is... Are, are, like, come on. Every Sage has something that would have made me win. Yeah. In, like, an <laughs> easy-to-find position. Dude, not only was there the ATG printer, there was also the ICBM soup with, like, the Clover and yeah. Like, this, this seed is... It was also, like, spare drone park soup. Yeah. Seat is so dumb. <laughs> no headset suit, though. That would have made me win. Sure. We had some pretty busted runs today. I mean, you know, with when you have glass in half of them, that's just kind of how it rolls. I, I mean, this this think... run, though, is like... Not even, like, with the Lunar. It no, I know. Busted. This one was specifically insane, but... I mean, Tonic and Glass in a lot of these today, that was... Some of the fastest mythic fights we've seen in a long time. Yeah, yeah this is what we was banned like, Lunars. What, a two and a half hour event? Normally they run for three. Uh, they've been running pretty fast lately. I mean, things have been going quick. <laughs> oh, and Ruddy breaking his watch there, but still alive. He's going okay. after the Soulbound. He's losing two ATGs for it. I what is the soulbound gonna do? Oh. He's trying to to skip. But how is he gonna get kills here? I don't know. Oh, is he going for the tonic? No, he's going for the skip. He's gonna get one low enough, I think. I don't know. I I, I think I would have just done the pillar at that point, but. Yeah, he could be done with pillars by now, I think. Or Hold up, let, let let him cook. He's cooking something up here. Interesting. I mean, as long as he gets there. Okay. <laughs> this egg is going to be obnoxious during the fight. Yeah. What's up, zombie? <laughs> hey, what's up? How was the run? So, but that corpse bloom was epic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ruddy found it too. Oh, he did? Oh, I'm glad I wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ruddy doing the stall tech on the ramp, but it just wasn't enough. He couldn't keep it up. Uh oh. oh. This is the last leg. He's got to really <laughs> be precise with that one. All right, let me Canty. make him full screen. No, doesn't work. Can he, can he, like, stagger the eggs with resupply? Maybe. Um, what the fuck? I think 
I don't know if it would use all of them at once or if it, it would wait that? until one runs out. Oh my god. Usually it would wait, right? It's so close, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should try. Oh no. Maybe, uh, supply. Just gotta do pillars. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know if that's enough time for him. I don't think it is. I think that seals it. What was your time? 38, 28? Yeah. Yeah. And charging takes a minute, too, so... Yeah. He'd have to be done in two minutes. I respect the uh, the soulbound, but... You know, we just... <laughs> I, think, I think he definitely could have gotten it. I, it's definitely supply. impossible, but it's hard. He could have tried to shoot something from up there as well, uh, and then use the mm. egg and then have it kind of refresh while he was in it. Yeah, imagine he had Diablo Strike and he like timed killing the enemy with the egg cooldown. That would have been crazy. Uh... <laughs> Ooh, this wisp. I mean, if he stays here for, I mean, it's already, it's already over, but we'll let him a little bit more. No, I think we can, oh, <laughs> I think we can pull him out. No, I think it's, I think it's it. <laughs> All right. Hello, Ruddy. Oh no. Yeah, I know. You're not even done with the fight yet. Um Yeah. Yeah. That was that was it. That was the last straw on that one. Is there <laughs> a pill skip? There that was, was actually. Oh, um ugh. the Mountain Shrine stage two had a transcendent spawn. Gee. Yep. <laughs> so you and me both, buddy. Also, by the ah. way, Ruddy and Zombie, uh the the small chest that was like ten feet away from the teleporter. That had a clover mm. in it. Stage one. Stage one. Oh, that's yeah. small one. Yeah, that one. Not a, not but enough. it's okay because you guys um you got you got the legendary chest, which definitely paid yeah. off. Yeah, dude, that was Whoa. that was great. That tilted me. Yeah, you both yeah. got legendary <laughs> chests too. That's funny. <laughs> it yeah, was, uh... I just in my mind as I thought about it, I was like, "This is gonna be a Luna. I can already tell. <laughs> it has to happen." <laughs> I was watching Ruddy's face cam um because Zinc had gotten it earlier or Zombie'd gotten it earlier, so I knew it was coming and Ruddy was smiling, he was happy, he was like, this is a good run, and then he got the corpse boom and uh, he immediately <laughs> the tone changed. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> yeah. Downhill from there, dude. That was uh that was a ridiculous run. I don't even realize if like, I don't know if all of you realize how ridiculous it was if you were just, like, playing it normally. It had an ATG printer, Stage 5, by the way. It had ICBM suit, oh. Clover, had Murph, like, the Transcendence double ATG Stage 1. It had all the glass damage from everywhere. Uh, Poly loops dripping, like, ukes everywhere. It was, uh, it was kind of wild. Mm. <laughs> that yeah, was one of the craziest crazy. ones we've seen uh, in a long time. But... Mm. That's how it goes. How'd you guys enjoy the uh, the lunar event today overall? It started off yeah. well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All downhill from there. Yeah, that first one was yeah. really good, huh? <laughs> I don't know, man. I started weak and then I only fell off. Uh, um, I don't know. That uh, doesn't look like the scoreboard there, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> It was definitely uh, uh, an interesting change of pace. And this was the first time we did the, uh, the yeah. eulogy version. We kept trying to do mm -hmm. the pod runs, and the pods just never spawned enough. Uh, yeah. So it wasn't really like... I like the Eugenes. The Eugenes. Eugenes are good. Yeah, good. As always, chat, make sure to uh, check out all of the races today. And R&D, thanks for guest casting with us. We really appreciate it. No problem. It was fun hanging out. Hell yeah. Um... Congrats to Zinc, but congrats to all of our racers who played today. They did a very good job uh, coming up here and going out of their comfort zone to uh, 
for our entertainment to battle in the arena. As always, if you guys want to know when the next Risk of Resources race is going to be, the best place to go for that is our Discord. We have uh, an alert that goes out every week that tells you when the next one is going to be because it's different every single week. Like usually, most of you would expect we do it on Sunday. Today is Saturday and we're here. Obviously, uh, schedules are hard when you have racers all over the world. Um, if you guys want to catch up on any of the last races that we've done in recent or super past, uh, go to our YouTube, youtube.com slash at risk of resources. It's a place to go for that. If you guys want to play with the mod that we have publicly made, uh, you can look us up on the Thunderstore. Just search up Risk of Resources. We have some stuff on there. If you want to participate in our speedrun category on speedrun.com slash gauntlet, um, or slash risk run 2 in the gauntlet category, make sure to check that out. All of these guys in here have been doing speedruns. I mean, Disputed just got a new speedrun world record on Artie. Zinc got the yeah. speedrun world record on Huntress recently. Um, you guys have been grinding. It's been awesome to see it, so... It's been amazing. And if you guys want to apply to be a racer and to be up here on the uh, the big screen and, and race your little hearts out, go to riskofresources.com slash rules. And at the bottom is an application page. So you can send your application and start scrimming with the uh, the team. See how you do. And as always, chat, that's going to be it for this week. We'll see you next week. Thanks for hanging out. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Everyone bye. say bye. <laughs>